Hello. Koimichiwa. This thing that works. Uh, everything is like falling apart, chat. Hello. <laughs> chat, everything is falling apart. Oh my god. Hello, hello. Koinichiwa, everybody. How are we doing today? Why does the music stop? Oh no. We Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Uh, give me just a minute. I had to make that task bar like hide itself, or else I can't see the full game. Oh, here we go. Hello. I need to. Uh, I need to. I need to come up with like a proper. Um. I need to come up with like a proper, a proper like an idol idol thing. Chat, help me come up with like a proper idol greeting thing. Like, yeah, I need like I need a proper proper idol greeting. Like I don't I don't know. I I, <laughs> I need one. I I'm really bad at coming up with these though, but I trust uh I trust chat to know better than I do. Yeah. Oh. Wait, did that show up on screen? <gasps> Okay, good. It didn't. <laughs> I got a Discord message and the pop up showed up and I was like, wait, did that show up on screen? And I was like, really, I was like, surprised for a moment. <gasps> wait, okay, good. <laughs> Miyabi Senpai sent a message and I was like, oh shoot. Wait, can I, can I show this yet on screen? But, okay. There we go. Yeah, wait, a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo, thank you so much for VIPing the membership. Thank you for the eight months. Toss a coin to your own. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh okay, no, it, it's because we're um we're all all of the hollow stars. So like both EN and JP side are in like the same Discord. Uh, so like if a message comes through, it just pings all of us. Give me just a minute. Let me go ahead and set myself to do not disturb so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't bother us. Um, there we go. Yeah. Hello, hello. How are we doing, chat? How are we doing? It is a nice Friday. You don't turn it to inventions only? No, because it's... Some well because like we don't really ping each other, uh, too often because like it, it can, like with with so many hollow stars, it ends up getting really busy. So if people start pinging each other, um, or like it, it gets kind of crazy. So we just kind of leave it there as a like not ping, but we like leave messages for each other. So like when the little notification shows up, we're like, oh, people are talking. Um, but like we don't ping each other because there's just so many of us. <laughs> Morgan, thank you so much for being the membership. I get annoyed so fast. Yeah, th this is kind of why like I keep my phone on silent. Um, I miss so many messages, but I keep it on silent because like there's no option to be all like, I like. Okay, so this is what I really want. If I had a phone, I want like notification settings that are like, give me the notifications for like the first two messages first three messages maybe right just to be like hey you should read by the way that's a conversation going on here right but then don't give me any more messages if i'm paying attention to it right because like if a conversation goes on for like 30 40 messages i it's either you get notifications and pings for all of them or none of them there is no option to be like okay give me two three notifications right so i know there's a conversation happening but don't spam me for every single message, you know? Church, thank you so much for the 12 months. Thank you for the one year. Plat, plat, got the fish, baby. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm really bad at reading. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the one year. Happy Lunar New Year, Shinri and Companions. Wishing everyone good luck and good fortune for the coming year. Thank you. Thank you so much for being yeah, the membership for one year. Thank you. Thank you. I'm 38 today, officially old. <gasps> Let's go. Happy birthday. Not your cupcake, happy birthday. Congrats on hitting 38. <gasps> Let's go. 
or a ping every five to ten minutes if it's ongoing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I, that's what I want. I want, see, like, that's what AI should be used for, is my opinion. Like, AI should be able to see that and be like, okay, Shinri's getting, like, there's a conversation happening in the Discord. Shinri does not want to be bothered and pinged for every single message. So I should be smart enough to adjust the notifications to only give you, like, two, three pings, right? And that's it. You know, that, like, that that's what we should use AI for, to make your lives easier and, like, not so annoying, right? Like, give me, give me that kind of stuff. Like, I'm okay with that. Mickey, thank you for the one year. One year of being part of the wonderful community. I'll keep supporting you as long as I can. Here's to another year of great memories. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is why most of my discords are only mentioned and messages said a certain way. Otherwise, pings would set me red, right? I, yeah, I can't have it. If I see too many notifications, I just right click, mark all as red, and then I just ignore it because if it's important enough, they'll bug me personally about it. If it's not important enough, then. That I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but I cannot. The people who have like thousands, hundreds of notifications, no. I like, no, just, just right click, mark all as red, get rid of it. If you're not going to read it, it's not important, just move on, you know? Ah. Same thing with emails too, like 11,000, 15,000 unread emails, no. Just select all, mark as red. Ame Higa, thank you for the one year, and happy Lunar New Year, Shinri and the Koi. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for re-upping the membership. Thank you for the one year. <sighs> Can't believe it's already been one year, Chan. It's it, it just feels weird. It feels weird being one year. And part of something Discord especially, yikes. Yeah. My manager's Slack notifications in 10,000s. Oof. I could not. I can't. Oh my gosh. Notice on for a few servers because admin things, but it's very pain to see all of them. Right? Man. Final Fantasy XIV Discord entire data center has like 50k notifications. <laughs> no, that's way too much. That is way too much. Time flies. It really does. I can't believe we're already almost halfway through, through February. Can you believe that? Sorry, not halfway, a third of the way. But like, still, you know, February is like a shorter month. <sighs> Wait, no, this year is a leap year, right? I think, I think there's one extra day in February this year because it's a leap year. Ooh, man. Time travel, time goes by way too fast now. Nani-chan, hello. Thank you so much for the one year. Quiddy, quiddy. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. This year's going too fast. It really is. It really feels like it's flying way too fast. At least we can escape. It's, a, it's January. <laughs> Time goes by so fast I'm scared I'm not doing enough. You and me both. You and me both. <laughs> Flies too fast and too slow at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's paradoxical. It's weird. It's a leap year. The February 29 babies will finally grow one year older. Doesn't like... Isn't it like Bay Senpai's birthday this year? I think Bay, uh, like Hakuas Bay Senpai has like a leap year birthday. So she only ages one year every four years or something. <laughs> I've always wondered how that goes. Like, if it's not a leap year, then, like, how do you celebrate... How do you celebrate a birthday if it's not a leap year? Because it, it doesn't happen. There's no day to celebrate it, so... <laughs> uh, January felt weird. New Year's Day was on a Monday. It really does. Yeah. Hard on face. Thank you for the super. It's all about eating good food and good wishes. I wish you both. Good to catch your stream. Excited for Alyssa. Yeah. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm glad there's there's no um wait. Knock on wood. Uh let's hope there's no ISP issues. But even if there is, I'm I'm tired enough that I'm just gonna go for it. So like if we do have ISP issues, we're just gonna power through. Uh, I'm tired. I don't wanna deal with it anymore. So if we do, it's gonna it's we're just gonna force through it. <laughs> I have a little thermos. 
tumbler cup. I have one for uh, my tea right now. It's already halfway down. I'll see. Thank you for the 11 months. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year, Shinri Hibikoi. Speaking of le leap year during the year of the dragon, flashbacks to Shinri lore. <gasps> it does kind of match up with that, doesn't it? The leap year, the year of the dragon, the leaping koi. Yeah. Munchido, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. And Church, thank you for the super. Celebrates all of Feb because of February. Fe February. Claims there's only 12 to the leap year things. Thank you for that super. And Munchido, thank you so much. Can we get some hearts and chef at Munchido? Bowtie, thank you, thank you. Ever doing a 12 or 24 hour stream as a celebration for Lunar New Year? No. Because I am tired. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the 30 months. I, I did a few like 11 hour streams during the Rust arcs. Um, but. I, I don't know if I could just chirp one out like that, sadly. I would love it to, but it, it's really draining, and I don't have the energy to do that. And I worry that, like, unless I'm doing something like Rust, where it's like an event event, then I, I feel like I'm, it'd get too boring, you know? Maybe, like, I don't know. I saw that Slime Rancher 2 got a really big update. Maybe, like, 12 hours of Slime Ranching. That'd be kind of cool. It was bad for a sleeping schedule. My sleeping schedule is already pretty bad as it is. It's it's pretty terrible already. All nighters in your thirties hit different enough. <laughs> they really do. Oh, Tori, thank you so much for the twelve months. Thank you for the one year. Great, great, whole new year. Always grateful for finding you in this community. Happy Lunar New Year. Sehebok mani padeseo. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Tori. We think we're VIP with that membership, Okwini. Thank you for the one year. And yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful time. Please enjoy all of the New Year's vibes and the good luck and good fortune. Yeah. Risky, thank you so much for the nine months. Okwini, Okwini. I feel like watching should be like yesterday, but time flies so fast. Happy Lunar New Year. Yeah, let's go. Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Yes, if you do celebrate, please, I hope you get. Lots of red envelopes. Lots of red envelopes. <laughs> All right, chat. Um, I have a confession real quick. I think moving forward, when we play games like Elisa or Happy's Humble Burger Farm, I think what I'm going to start doing is just schedule them consecutively, like day after day, because I realize I it's been like a week and I've forgotten a lot of the controls. <laughs> That's my confession. So next time, like, if we're playing a multi-part series like this, like Alyssa, I think I'll just be like, all right, we're going to play Alyssa the whole, whole week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, just in, in sequential order, just to get it out, instead of, like, jumping between, like, oh, you know, like, on Mondays, we'll play Humble's Happy Humble Burger Farm, and then Tuesdays, we'll play Alyssa, right? Because doing it weekly, I forget the controls and stuff. Um, like, it explains why, like, when I played Happy Simple Burger Farm last time, I really didn't remember too much of what's going on. Um, so I think moving forward from now on, multi-part streams will just go in consecutive streaming days. Yeah. Tamzer, they give the super chat. How about some, like, Koinichiwa, just read you shit, right? The Ronin, roaming Ronin. Do you have ghosts? Give me a call. Oh. Wait, I like that. I like that. Incorporating the horror aspect to it. I like that. Thank you so much for the supa. We can keep workshopping it. We can keep workshopping it. But I like that. I, I want to include something about about something like spooky into it. That'd be really cool. Like a like a wandering Ronin on search of the occult and uh uh the El Eldritch, I, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, we'll <laughs> ending with a wink, and then Puniko can also wink too. <laughs> I think I'm left eye dominant because when I or right eye dominant because then I wink. I want to wink with my left eye, like naturally. Just I want to wink with my left eye. Okay, as opposed to like the right eye. This one doesn't feel as natural to me. 
left eye, wink, feels right. So maybe, wait, does that mean I'm left eye dominant or right eye dominant? I'm not sure. How does that work? Ah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, chat. How is sound? Sound seems good. All right, let us jump back into it. All right, so as far as we know, we are on the lookout for this spy who stole some documents. And we tried to chase them and ended up falling into this weird, like, mystical kind of Alice in Wonderland type of place. And we don't really know what's going on other than, like, strange spooky things are happening. And we have, like, little puppets that act as shops, but we also have to, like, beat them it, like, as bosses. Not really sure what's going on, though. It's already been like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I forgot we have no money. Oh my god, I forgot we have no money. Mm. Oh my god. Welcome. Okay, we need to go get some money. But I forgot how do we... Oh. Controls. Reload. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And you need money to save. We have to spend one tooth wheel in order to save. Because saving costs money in this game. Alright, let's see. If I remember, I think we came from this side. So we gotta go down this way here. Keep going this way. Down. So that that's the save room. And then further down this hallway is somewhere we have not explored yet. Ooh. Wandering single run and looking for elder chores. <laughs> it's... Wait, isn't that a little sad if I put in the fact that I'm single into my idle introduction? That's that's a little sad, isn't it? <laughs> Jojo, thank you for the sutha. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, I've, it might come across as a little bit desperate. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the sutha. It's a vertical air shaft. And the hatch is locked. I see some lead at the top end, but it's too dangerous to climb up. The hatch is locked. Ooh, wait, I wonder, do we have... Oh no, hang on, I forgot. I gotta change the controls real quick. Uh, render? Uh, controls modern. Uh oh. Button config. There we go, there we go. Okay. Inventory, I need to make sure it's tab. Special caps lock. Run left shift change weapons is gonna be Q. Cancel. Special Z, I think. Uh. Menu? Pause menu. Wait, where's the... I think it was this one. Start. Okay. Yeah, there we go, there we go. It helps with the parasocialism. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come across as so... Too... It's, it's, I think it's a little bit too desperate. <laughs> Can't use it here. Did the controls reset? It did because I reformatted my PC. Remember, I reformatted it when the power went down. Whoa. Is that hair? Ew. Metallic roots are coming out of a vent. Is it seeking water here? Ooh. A very deep water pit. You can see shadowy figures swirling around in the depths. I wonder if it's fish, or like jellyfish. Very deep water pit. Okay, what happens if I do that? Ooh, nice. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> okay, we're good. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that was really loud. Okay, wait. No, no! Ah. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but we just wasted the heal. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's take care of these. We just got spam. Spam. Spam the sword. No. No. Oh, oh this is not working. No, that's not working. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work out. Moonshell, I got the super. Can check it by holding your thumb finger to make a circle? And then look through it, mirror, wink, I, I'm sorry, that is really difficult. I don't understand. Thank you so much for the super chat though. Through the line circles dominant eye. We. I'm sorry, I do not understand. <gasps> oh, oh my god. There's so many. Why is there so many? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now we have to heal. Go. Spam. Spam. Oh, let's swing the sword harder. Please. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So, good to know. I can't really fight this in a battle of, like, attrition because they do way too much damage. Oh, jeez. I think I hear another one. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I know that we can... I know that we can heal without using a healing item by taking off the dress and then just relaxing for a little while. Okay, let's see. Let's heal. <laughs> I think guns will work much better. I don't want to waste ammo though, that's the thing. These aren't even like the bosses, and that's the problem right now. Like, I, I'm worried a little bit that we're gonna be running low on ammo trying to fight the boss once, uh, once we get to it. Which is kind of why I want to stick with using the sword, but... I don't know if the sword's doing enough damage here. I want that little bath. I want a bath too. It's been a long time since I've had a bath trap. The um the building that I'm in, unfortunately, doesn't have a very good water heater. It's a very, very old water heater. So what ends up happening is Mushido, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. We have a an old water heater here that's kind of like it's clunky it's clunky um so <laughs> there's enough water for like one person to take a hot shower but if two people try to take a hot shower um you'd have to like shower twice as fast or else the hot water would run out and there won't be any hot water left um and there certainly isn't enough water for a bath so if anyone does try to take a bath you can have hot water for like 10 minutes and then there's no more hot water. You'll have to wait like two hours for the heater to heat up water again. <laughs> yeah. It's rough. It's rough. Okay. That should be enough time to heal. Let's take a look and see what our health bar is. Should be full by now. It's very slow. We're only at half health. Hmm. To be a Netflix documentary, document to your life for research purposes. <laughs> it's, 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 my life isn't anything special. It's just, yeah, it, it's like par for the course here in Elysium is, is what I'll say. It's just par for the course. <laughs> It's kind of like how it, how it just normally is, sadly. But yeah. Ah, a nice bath sounds really good, though. I want like a jacuzzi, you know? I think a jacuzzi would be pretty fun. A nice hot, like a hot tub. 
Maybe not even a jacuzzi. Okay, can I be honest? I don't particularly like the jacuzzi thing. Like the, the hot water jets? I don't know. It just makes my skin itchy. If I sit by the water jets, it just like, ugh. You know, hot tub, love it. I love the hot tub. The hot water and just like the nice heat. It's relaxing. It like relaxes your muscles and that's really nice, right? But the water jets, I don't know. It Like it irritates my skin and it gets me really itchy. So I don't really like it. Like every single time I tried to like go in a hot tub and then I sit by the the water jets, I can only stay for like two, three seconds or like two, three minutes. Um, otherwise, I just get like really like it gets irritated. I get sore. And I don't like it. Jacuzzi or onsen? Onsen. A hundred percent. How does it make you itchy? It's just the water like blasting against my skin for like, I don't know. I, I just don't like it. Just can be nice though, like a good massage. Mm. Just a good fella, to give it the super. Just put the Valentine pack. I haven't listened to your voice, but, but you look super snazzy in the cover. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. It looks, we all look pretty good. I, I, I really, uh, really appreciate how well the artist made us all look. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, chat, uh, it is on the Twitter. It is on the uh, official store, so please do take a look at it. Bettles is just that one meme where like you're, you're pouring the tea and just completely missing it. <laughs> completely missing the cup and it's all splashing on the ground. All right, let's see. Ah, full health, let's go. Heart on face, thank you. Thank you for the gifted. Get some hearts in chat for the gifted. Thank you, thank you. Oh. There we go. All right, let's go. I wonder if we could just run past him. Okay, good, 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 good. We can run past, we can run past. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. They're not thinking so much for the, oh. <laughs> Thank you for the 10. Oh, thank you for the 10 months. Quitty, quitty. Keyhole is, play is shaped like a fish. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I see. It's the first area that we came in here that we couldn't go because there was like a... There was a gate? Okay. From here... Wait, what? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh! One. Two, three. One, two, three. But they're still alive. They're still alive. Oh, that's creepy. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, they take so much. What? They're so tanky. Ulysses, give the super. Basket cats waiting for it on the table. On my tablet. And I'll take a look to the top hat, pizza, ice cream, even a barbecue on a plate once. <gasps> that sounds really nice. Chat, I don't think we have enough bullets. Um, I don't think we have enough bullets for this. <laughs> I've, I've already wasted enough bullets. We're going to commit. We're going to commit. Okay. Run. Run. Okay. There we go. There we go. Aim down. <gasps> that one doesn't even have a head and it's still attacking. Okay. Uh, uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. No, no. Oh. What? What? Why are they so tanky? Okay, just go, just go. So we've used up all of our ammo. <laughs> We've used all of our med kits. Time for a bath. <laughs> Got a ton of tooth wheels. I know, but it, is it worth it? I'm not sure if it's worth it. These guys are a no-no. I think what we'll have to do is either just stop fighting them, or... Ah. Uh... I don't know, either stop fighting them, or we just pay for the blunderbuss. 
We might have to use the blunderbuss. Hot tub stream. Bath simulator. I like how we take the sword with us. Of course, we gotta have the sword. You never know. I forgot, how much was the blunderbuss? I know that thing is like pretty expensive. And we don't really have that many that much uh, ammunition for it. Hot bath with a sword. <gasps> Wait, chat. Did you guys know? Did you guys know, chat? That most scabbards, the the thing that holds the, the sheath for the sword, almost every single scabbard should not be rubbing against the blade. So every single time you see a movie or a TV show or an anime or something like that, where they pull out the sword and it makes that like shing, like metal, like um, ringing noise, that's actually a bad thing. It's not supposed to make that noise because if it does make that noise, what it means is that the sword itself, the metal, is scraping against the scabbard. And you don't want that because what that does is it, it scratches the sword up, it dulls it, and it just basically it ruins the sword over time so if it's making that sound it means your scabbard is not fitted correctly to the sword or um the sword is not properly fitted to the scabbard depending like which one you find more important right but the idea is the scabbard is supposed to protect the blade you know and well also you so like you can carry it around without cutting yourself or like accidentally dropping it and slipping it but the idea is that it protects the sword and it's not supposed to rub against the metal of the sword so every single time you see those movies where like they pull out the sword like shing and it's like really dramatic right like it bothers me because like i don't know when it started but media like movies and tv shows have done it so much it has become an expected trope which is why when you see, um, like, uh, like when you see like actual swordsmen practicing, um, when they pull the sword out of the sheets or scabbards, right? You don't hear anything because it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be quiet. Um, because the metal is not supposed to touch. The scabbard is to smack people with your offhand. <laughs> They need some sound effect. Exactly. They need some kind of a sound effect because you can't really hear it. But for the audiences, they need to have some kind of a like a sound alert or like a sound trigger to show you like, oh, hey, something dramatic is about to happen. They're pulling their sword out and things are about to get serious. Right. And then another thing for ranged weapons is that why you use a bow instead? Speaking of bows, <laughs> you know, that scene in Lord of the Rings um, when all the men and elves are defending Helm's Deep and they all like draw arrows and they like aim it at the orcs that are coming and then Aragorn is all like hold hold right you don't do that you don't do that like if you have modern bows like a compound bow that have lever and pulley systems to make it not so painful not so like draining on your stamina that's absolutely fine you know but for non-compound bows you know, like a recurve bow or just like a regular hunting bow, um, like it, it's a lot of it's a lot of poundage. You know, we're talking about like bows that maybe take eighty pounds or more, ninety up to a hundred and twenty pounds of force to pull back the string and draw the bow. Right? You don't want to be holding like ninety pounds of force with your back muscles or else you're not going to be able to fire more than a couple of arrows you know well lo let loose a couple of arrows you know um so like when you see those moments right when like the archers are like they draw their arrows back and they're just holding in like threatening right i know it's for a dramatic impact right but it's not like a gun you can't just hold the gun like, or sorry, you can just hold a gun and point it at someone and be like, all right, you don't know if I'm going to shoot you or not, right? You can't do that with an arrow. You can't do that with the bow and arrow. Your back muscles are going to be so weak and you're going to drain so much stamina trying to hold it. And honestly, you really should not be holding it for that long, like two seconds, three seconds, just to verify that your, you know, your stance is correct and then everything is lined up before you let it go. Um... So, like, a couple of things I've been noticing, just, you know, people haven't 
not everyone knows about this, so it's kind of like, when you see media like that, it looks cool. There's like the cool factor of movies and stuff. But in reality, if you try pulling back a bow and holding it like that, and everyone's like, hold, hold, right? You're just like, don't, don't draw the bow in the first place. Just, just stand there. Don't draw, you know, <laughs> save your energy. <laughs> Or else you're going to like do a, a huge number on your back muscles and it's not going to be good for you the next morning. Even wheel the phone typing. My friends and I always complain about these things, right? Want to try? You can try, um, like I'm sure there are like uh, exercise machines that you can go to and just try to hold like 90 pounds of force. Just like with your back muscles. It's not a good, it's not good. All right. Full health. I kind of want to just cheese it and like keep killing the monsters or running back into the bath and then resting. How many do I have? 33. Not bad, not bad. Tried archery and holding the bow is so painful. Yeah. Also, speaking of that, um, something that a lot of people don't know you should never like dry fire a bow. It's not a good idea. Do not dry fire or else you're gonna damage the uh, the arms of your bow. That's why when you uh, when you see people like having arrows or like when they draw, if it's if you do not have an arrow uh, like on the like if you don't have an arrow set up for it, like don't dry fire it. Like dry firing is when you like pull the bow back and then you let go of it you loose it without an arrow because all that tension gets sent right back into the arms of the bow, right? It doesn't go into the arrow because there's no arrow to loose, you know? But all that tension and all the pressure will like uh, go into the arms and potentially damage your bow. Man, thank you for the super idle introduction. Queenichuan Joseph Edishinri wrote an idol of Hollow Stars Tempest and your spooky host with ghosts. Spooky hosts with the ghosts. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Host with the ghosts. Oh, I like that. That's cute. I like it. Thank you for the super. Okay. Hang on. We need to figure out where we need to go to. Because we just lost a lot of, we lost a lot of like health and ammo. Ooh. In middle school, we did a trip archery range. They told us to hit you the bow as well as try out someone. Range from 20 to 70 pounds. Aww, cute. I, got, I started on a 65, I think. And I worked my way up to like... I think the last one I had was like 80? 90? And then I got too busy to, to practice, unfortunately. And I had to let go. Okay. I think we've been... Hmm. Underground level is really the only place that we haven't really explored. It's just those three doors. The big one in the middle is locked with a key, fish key, and the one at the end of the corridor is locked with a fish key. I think the one in the center is the room to the boss's room, if I'm not mistaken. Don't grip the bat with your might, it'll hurt like hell upon impact. Oh no, yeah, be careful with that. Cool. Nistra, I'm not sure you could pull one back. Oh, takes a lot of practice. Takes a lot of practice. You can gradually, like, slowly, gradually increase your back muscle strength. Help pull it back further. Big history nerds of my little middle school brain baby hat. Oh. I'm curious about doing archery. Oh, if you get a chance, if you absolutely get a chance, I would try. It's a lot of fun. Shaped as a right hand. That's right. Okay. So we need a fish key and then we need a right hand key. But we only have a left hand key. Hmm. I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go. Yeah. The door at the end of the hallway here also, if I'm not mistaken, requires a fish key. Yeah, there it is. Fish key. Is it bad that ever since you got Puniko, I spent the entire time staring at him? No. Can we stare at Puniko? <laughs> oh, oh look 
It's the spooky ghost lady. She also is defeated by stairs. <laughs> She's so pretty, but she can't stairs. <laughs> uh, I don't have any bullets, man. I don't know if you're actually able to kill her, though, because I think she's supposed to be one of those monsters, like, um... <laughs> Sorry, my brain was about to say Mr. X, but it's not Mr. X. Uh, it's Nemesis. I... <laughs> The meme takes precedence in my mind over Nemesis. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's like, in, in my head, it's just the X gonna give it to you, Saw. Like, that's all I hear. Like, oh, there she is. Oh my god. That kind of spooked me out. Oh my god. Okay. I, I forgot the actual name. Same. Can I break that? No, I can't break it. Does this work yet? Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. It's locked. Shit, that's... Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I remember... Remember when we crawled through the elevator engine? Oh, camera. Camera, please. Camera. Ca camera. Ca camera. Camera, please. Yeah, we had to crawl through the little engine to repair it. We finally did manage to it. But we can't go on unless we find the right-hand key. So now we got to go find the right-hand key. And I'm not sure where that is. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Go. Yeah. Nice. There's only three. Ow. It's only three gears, but we'll take it. Why can't we take the gun? I wish we could take the gun. I want there to be more games where. <gasps> Wait. Metal? Door won't budge. Seems to be stuck with a strange-looking metallic root-shaped decoration. Metal roots. Remember the same metal roots from the bottom? Doesn't look man-made, though. I wonder... Do we have to go back down to the water? Decorated with the symbol of a tree. Painting of a bridge, okay. Maybe we have to go all the way back down there and cut the metal roots somehow to make the metal roots up here break down. Let's see if we can go back and interact with it somehow. Hmm. If we do something with the metal roots that seem to be reaching into the little vats of water, maybe that'll lead us to figuring out how to open that area. She looks pretty in the dress. Yeah, it's the nurse's dress, and we're using it because it gives us bonus to heal. Like almost 50%, if I remember. So it's a lot of healing. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Wait. I don't remember about this door. Door is jammed. Okay. <laughs> Alyssa is fashionable and functional. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. All the way down here. There are three monsters in here. How are we going to beat them? Okay. If we can find a... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Can we cut this? Ooh. No, that's not what we want. We want to keep it open. Hmm. Can't seem to be able to do anything with it. Very deep water pit. Can see shadowy figures. 
I feel like we have to beat these guys somehow. Or maybe there's something like metallic roots are coming out of a vent. Is it seeking water here? And then there's this one, which is a vertical air shaft. The hatch is locked. I see light at the top end, but too dangerous to climb up. We don't know what key it is, so... Hmm, maybe flood the room somehow? Whoa. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat these. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I should have saved the bullets for the... Oh, it's faster now. Ooh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. Ooh. Okay. I think... Hold on. I think we had to like slowly like just just bring around the rosy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh come on. This is so difficult to get. it's it's so difficult. Ooh. No. Ooh. It's fine, it's fine. There's a there's a bath. Ah. Okay. Ooh. It's fine. Ah. Oh. 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 You don't even have arms and you're still attacking. <laughs> Tis just a flesh wound. Okay. Ooh. Aim down. Ah. No, no, no. Turn, down, whack. No. Oh, oh. So low. Okay. Aim down, whack, run. Aim down, whack. Oh. It doesn't have a head and it's still a. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this might be a little. This might be cutting it too close, but I believe. I believe. We got him. We got them all. Alright, now we need to figure out exactly what to do here. Hmm. Metallic roots are coming out of a vent. Is it seeking water here? Hmm. Inaki, thank you for the one year. Thanks for introducing me to Hollow Stars. Glad you're the first VTuber to follow. Continue bringing the cozy vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the one year. And of course, all the cozy vibes. Hmm. Very deep water pit. Can see shadowy figures. This one is locked, but I'm not sure. Because the only keys we have are these. Cage key, left hand key. Eye key. Can't use it here. Hmm. Not sure. I'm gonna linger in the background phone dying. <sighs> Hope you can charge your phone soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. I can see shadowy figures swirling around the depths. I think the shadowy figure is a reference to the monsters that just pop jumped out. But beyond that, I don't know. Same thing here. It's the same thing for all three tubs of water. Okay, maybe what about this one, the far back end? Is it seeking water here? Is it seeking water? It's almost as if it's trying to say that we should try to water them. Or like, get the roots into the water? You should heal. Yeah, I'm going to go back. But I'm not really... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wonder... How long do I stay wet? 
that sounds really weird out of context. I'm sorry. Wait, no. Hold up, hold up. I want to know. I want to know if I jump in the bath, how long does Alyssa like stay wet, like dripping water? Because if I can get the water, to... see, look, she's dripping water, right? Could I? Could I get? Okay, still dripping, still dripping. Do I carry water this way? Oh. 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 Is it seeking water? No, that's not it. No, no, no. Okay. That wasn't it. Hmm. Is there like a... She looks cold. I know, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go heal. Okay, that's not it. Hmm. <sighs> let's talk to the puppets after we heal and see what kind of information we can get. Maybe some new items? I'm not sure. Any buckets in the game? Not that I know of. It made sense, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because I was like, wait a minute. Like, she does have water on her body when she gets out. Hmm. Any buckets nearby? Not, not ones I could see. Hmm. It feels like they're... It, it feels like the game wants me to water the metallic vine somehow. A bucket in the shop? Yeah, that's all thinking. We'll go well, after we finish healing up. We'll go check out. Get in the pools the same way you get in the bath? Unfortunately, no. When I try interacting with the pools, it simply says there's vats of water here and there's shadowy figures in the dark. Do you think you need to build, buy this sexy swimsuit and jump into the water? <laughs> what was it like? The it reduces the grab time from monsters. Maybe this is the place where the gate opened first? I don't think so, because the gate was only there blocking off the pathway. Ah, oh, shoot. I wish I could look at the map while I'm here. Um, but no, the gate was mostly just a shortcut. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't opening a new area. It was just connecting two areas we had been to before. So I'm not quite sure. Hmm. We can go take a look at it and see if there's anything that we may have missed. Wait. Excuse me. All right, let's see how much health we have recovered so far. Ah, halfway. You know what, that'll be fine for now. Let's talk to the puppets and see. Welcome. Weapons. Blunderbuss, 22. We can afford that, but let's hold off on the purchase for now. Military uniform, faster reload. Move fast in deep water. Although we haven't really seen deep water yet. Just like shallow, shallow water? Hmm. Items? <gasps> Med kit. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Some men. Yeah. Oh. Modifications. Gear implants. Implanted tooth wheels and steer wire. Things become a lot lighter. Hmm. Things become a lot lighter. Is there anything that we had to open that was heavy or too heavy to open? I don't think so. Skin lacquer protects against damage, 10% defense. That's nice, but I don't really want to use that just yet. Quick strings pull you away from danger. No, that's... Hmm. Pushing crates? That's true. Faster release grab sounds really hardy depending on how much it grabs you. Thankfully, we've been able to avoid getting grabbed for the most part. Some things become a lot lighter. 
don't think we really need that yet. Rewards? Hammer. Teeth stone. A stone piece shaped like a teeth could fit somewhere. It costs 20. Do you guys think the hammer might do more damage than the sword? Edmonston's wooden hammer? Can we use the puppet to store water? Just like dunk it into the water. It, I'm pretty sure these wouldn't be required because they just seem like additional bonuses for beating the boss. Hmm. be a slower weapon. It might have longer reach because it looks pretty big. Is it four additional bosses? I think the dentures could get the ones on the circus area. The circus area. Don't quite remember. We can't afford both, unfortunately, because I already spent some coins on med kits. Let's hold off on the teeth stone, because I think it's just extra stuff. Kind of want to get the hammer. I want to get the hammer. Yeah, I want to get the hammer. Oh, yes. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? Can I only buy one reward? Huh? You can only choose one? No. I didn't. Why well, didn't the game tell me? No. Bonk stick. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it really is just a bonk stick. Okay. Yeah, they didn't warn you at all. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. I know we don't have full health. It's only one one half, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a look at see. Maybe we missed something. This door is stuck. The door all the way down here, I think, is also locked? No, it's not. Oh! Oh! Wait, we've never been here before. Showers? Taking a shower would be nice, but not here. Taking a shower would be nice, but not here. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Wow. That would be both really cute. But also, like, if I just want to get ready, it'd be annoying to have this, your view blocked. Wait, fish behind? What? <gasps> oh no, oh no. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, get over here. Oh! <gasps> Wait, chat. It has knocked back. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Okay, I can't spam it. I have to be careful. Oh. Let's go. Knock back. Yeah. Let's go. The knockback is amazing. Ooh. Oh, what is that? There's a dirty wet note on the ground. The text is still readable. 
Can someone do something about the flooding on the lower level? Don't give me that nonsense about Edith controlling the substances around her and all that. It's driving me crazy. Barbara. Something about flooding? Can someone do something about the flooding on the lower level? Don't give me that nonsense about Edith controlling the substances around her and all of that. It's driving me crazy. Hmm. Something about the flooding in the lower level? That's where the metal roots are, right? I wonder if we can... Huh. I think it's just that. Something about the flooding. So there's got to be some way to trigger some kind of a flood. But how? <gasps> Ooh. Martin shots. Don't want to go to the toilet right now. Okay. Ooh. What was that? Hmm. What? Camera. Okay, so something about the flooding. This door requires a fish key. How do we get it? Wait, do we want it to flood? Or do you want it to un not flood? Hmm. Okay, that door's jammed. Huh. Can't interact with this. And this is the save room again. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this area to flood. Okay. Metallic roots are coming out of the vent. Is it seeking water here? Wait, if we pull this up, that's the only thing that happens, so I don't know if that's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. If it opens that gate, it's it should suggest that there is some reason why that shortcut needs to be opened, right? So, whatever we need to do should be through that shortcut. Oops. But, all it does is take us back to the main... All it does is it takes a back here where we don't have the key for this one. It takes us up here. Hmm. And this is the flooding, yeah. Wonder if it's asking us to do something about the flooding here. It's locked, shaped as a right hand. You don't have a key for, and that one is the fish key again. Hmm. We can go through this door, but all it does is take us over here again. A strange shaped glass pot is floating on the water. There's a peeper inside that reads, Why did you turn the soil into water and lock us up in the dark? Doesn't matter anymore. We are glass now. The waters are our home. Please, someone bring us the wide oceans so we can swim free forever. Hmm. We are glass now. I'm guessing it means the green, like, fish monsters that we've been fighting. Unfortunately, I can't pick up the pot. Can't break it either. Yeah, it won't give me the option to pick it up for some reason. Hmm. The fish in the mirror? 
location them. <gasps> what if the mirror is a water tank? What if oh, oh no 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 <laughs> No I don't bad hug no no <laughs> What if the mirror in the bathroom is a water tank and the fish are swimming in the water? So if we go and shoot the... Come on... Yeah, I think maybe if we try breaking the mirror... Is she still there? Okay, good. Okay, let's go and... Hang on, swap weapons. We did get a couple of Martin shots, so we can reload that into the bathroom. And then all the way down, ooh, camera, all the way down to the end, right? If we look into the mirror, we see fish swimming. So if we aim at the mirror, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> Darn it. Hmm. That would have been pretty big brain, though. Bonk it. Okay, swamp. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Can I aim up? Aim down? Hmm. Have we seen these colors before, Chad? There's five red fish, four blue fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine yellow fish. Nine yellow fish, five red fish, four blue fish. Do we ever see anything that has Colors like that? Primary colors. Red, yellow, blue. Yeah, because it doesn't matter how many times they swim through, it's always the same number of fish for each color. Five red, four blue, Nine yellow. I think that might be a code. But where? Where do we input that code? Nine yellow, five red, four blue. The code must be back in the main house because these gates opened up, leading us back over to the main house. So... Somewhere in the house, there's got to be a color-coded three-digit combination that we use that those numbers for. But where? So if we go back to the main house... I really wish the mirror break would have worked, though. It was clever. It was a good thought. Hmm. Shooting the game, mirror game that would... If shooting the mirror weren't the game, it'd be Giga Brain kind of disappointed now. <laughs> Maybe they were worried that, like, what if the players don't have any extra ammo? Or, like, they waste all the ammo and they can't afford to shoot. You'd still be able, you're, you should still be able to uh, solve the puzzles. Oh, that's right. There's a, there's a big chunky dude here. Okay. This goes to the elevator, which can't use at the moment. Hmm. Okay, this is the puzzle box room that we've already solved. Keep going through. Let's kind of re... Hmm. Looks like a door, but it won't move. It's not this area. 
Ooh. Okay. Let's try going back over to the circus area. Okay. Go. Oh, no! <laughs> Oops. Okay, gotta forget. <laughs> Just a big bonk. Okay. Go. Wait. Go. Wait. Go. Alright. Somewhere in here, maybe. I think we've killed all the monsters here, so we should be safe? Should be safe. Okay, let's check out each of the rooms. I almost feel like they're not really related. This room doesn't have anything, does it? Martin shots. The only thing that this room has is that one cabinet where we got the hat from. Okay, so it's not here. Red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue. Which room hat asked for those colors? Oops. Ooh. Creepy mouth room. Uh oh. Oh no. Watch out for that one. Okay. This one we've already solved. Oh my god, we have no health. Oh my god, we have no health. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, door, 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 door. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Darn it. Okay, well, at least we have our... At least we have our bullets back. Okay. Well at least... <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Okay. We still can't afford oh, this. Mm. Yeah, now we need to go get the teeth back again. Alright. Down here. Wait, wrong way. Yeah, down this way. Go through here, all the way down, and pull the lever and the monsters will jump out because we haven't killed them yet at this point. Okay. That goes down, and now the monsters will pop out. Ooh. That's still kind of spooky. Okay. Keep going through. So that's why they're kind of transparent. They're made of glass. That's what it... Oh. Okay. Swing past those. There's three in total. Oh. Wait. Oh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Okay. Through here. Ah, no. Wait, door. Uh, oh, camera, camera. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. The camera. Okay, pick up some extra ammo here. Reload. Then we gotta go read the note inside this stall, right down here. Can someone do something about the flooding in the lower level? Don't give me the nonsense about Edith controlling the substances all around her. I'm still not sure what that is. Okay, then we go here, look at this. <gasps> Wait, Chad, the numbers changed. Three yellow this time. Three yellow, one, two, three, four, five, six red, one, two, three, four, seven blue. Three yellow, six red, seven blue. It is a code. Whoa. 
No, no, camera, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, it is glass. When they die, they drop like little bits and shards of glass that you can step on. Hmm. Okay, reload. All right. Okay. Locked. Shaped like a key. Okay, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, did anyone re did anyone memorize the the uh <laughs> the numbers? What was it? Three blue, six red, three yellow, three yellow. Okay, three yellow, six red, and then seven blue. Right. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Swap weapons to sword. And we gotta kill these before they... Oh, come on, camera. Come on. Sideways. Sideways. Serpentine. Ow. It's fine. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, let's keep going. No, camera, please. <laughs> camera, please. <laughs> there we go. All right. Cutting this doesn't do anything. And this requires a tree key, which we've not found anything similar to. Haha. -ha. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go check upstairs and see if there's anything that is asking us for a yellow, red, and blue number code. Hmm. Oh, there's some bullets here. Okay. Anything here? No. Whoa. Hmm. Something red, something yellow, something blue. Curious to note the medicine cabinet still has like an extra, nothing useful. That don't look so well. Bathtub, toilet, no. Okay, hmm. maybe in here? Eevee looking skeleton. Okay, the puppets are still here. And this one has that creepy thing on the ground. Yeah, that one. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep exploring around, see if we can find that three digit combination code somewhere. Locked from the other side. Soldiers. Illustration. Yeah, bullets don't do it. Uh, we tried shooting and we wasted a whole bunch of ammo, but he just keeps dodging each time. Ugh, it's so creepy. Okay. Can we try swiping at it, maybe? Oh, no. Swipe. I don't know if it's actually hitting it, though. Okay, no, I don't think it's hitting it. There's something unusual about this bookshelf. Books are stuck in the middle piece missing. We're missing a middle book on that one, too. No, this is just the exit back to the main hallway. The door back here, though? Leads to this room. The door all the way at the bottom won't budge. Whoa! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Heal. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be able to kill it, sadly. Lee. Read. 
It's a big open book on the stand. The open page reads, Thanks to Dr. Vera Edmonston's invention of the tooth wheel, we're able to build a construction that moves personnel to different levels of the building. Two cabins through a single elevator shaft. We already got that. Oh no. Whoa. We already got that working. Though we don't have the key to use it. Hmm. If we could find that missing book, we might be able to open up that bookshelf. Though, I'm not sure where we'd find one. Okay, so it's not up here. Maybe the hammers for the crawling puppets. Maybe. Like, special weapons are more super effective against the other ones. We know it's not the kitchen. This is the elevator room. Why don't we try going back into the... the... clown area again. But this time we watch out and try not to die. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Okay, careful. Go. Wait. Go. Go. Yeah. Ooh. Use teeth dentures in the one face wall. We could. Maybe? Is that where it's supposed to fit? I'm a little bit worried now about spending money on things I don't know if it'll <laughs> get us to the right places or not. Okay. Let's check out these doors and see if there's anything here that requires red. Red, yellow, and blue? Medicine? Nothing useful. We've already solved the dummy puzzle. Not here. Can you save scum? Not really. It costs one tooth wheel each time we want to save. And we've already opened this one, right? Nothing of interest here anymore. Yeah, we've already opened this one, so it's not bad. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's the door at the end of the hallway. Although I'm not sure if the game really wants us to backtrack this far. We've already solved this puzzle. The monster in the jack-in-the-box over here is kind of spooky, so we don't want to deal with that. And I'm not sure if we have the damage to kill it, because it attacks very fast. Okay through here, perhaps. Hmm. Clown outfit? Nothing in particular here. I don't look so well. Oh, uh, tooth wheel is what they call the gears that we get. Um, so if you look over there next to Alyssa's face, there's like the total number of gears that we have. Um, this is like in the like 1910s era, so they. What was that? Thought I heard like a ghost like exhaling something. Hmm. Oh, that's right. There's also a coin-shaped object could fit in here. Hmm. A wine-stained note. At night, I hear something crawling at the walls way bigger than a rat. Could it be one of the missing patients? They all touched the stone, and none of them survived the treatment. Hmm. They all touched the stone. None of them survived the treatment. Oh, camera, please. <laughs> we. All right, chat. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to an idol meeting real quick. Apologies again, chat, but I will leave you here with this nice cozy B, uh, BGM. Oh, it's a little loud. Okay, give me just a minute. Be right back. <gasps>
Hello, chat. And back. And back, but I'm also still confused. So let us continue. <laughs> let us continue being confused and lost as to where to go next. All right. So it's not this section of the game with a map. Welcome back. Aw, thank you. It's, it's good to be back, chat. <laughs> is there any place we haven't been to? I think, well, the thing is, I think we've been to all of them. And unfortunately, the only thing that the map really tells us is like, have you opened that door? Yes or no? Wait a minute. Okay, so that red door right there that you see, the one single red door, we can't go into that one because that's locked with the coin-shaped key. That's the, that's the one door that we, ha that we can't get to. Otherwise, we've been to every single room on the stage, or on, the, on this floor at least. The underground one, the top one requires a fish key. The middle one requires a right-hand key. And the bottom red door also requires a fish key, so it's not these. There's one on the second floor. Oh. I forget which one this one was. Barricaded. 
Hmm, first floor. Current location is here. I think, hmm, why don't we go check out the second floor then? What about the teeth key? I don't think we have a teeth key. We have the eye, cage, and left hand. The second floor is locked from one side. That's the one that's barricaded. Um, that hallway over there is the one that we saw the uh, the thief with the funny haircut running away. That one is barricaded. We can't open those. Sorry, I ate all the keys. <laughs> The only one I can, the only place I can think of is this specific door. So let's go check out this one. It's on the second floor in the stairwell. Second floor stairwell. We're currently on the ground floor. We have to go up to the first floor and then get to the second floor. That's the only place we haven't opened yet. So. I figure it's gotta be there, right? Let's go give it a shot, let's go give it a shot. Because I don't think the game wants us to backtrack this far into the circuit. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ma'am, please. You spade me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby. <laughs> Ooh, watch out for the hug. Okay, let's go. <laughs> no, no, oh no, camera, camera, please, camera, camera, please. Oh, okay, just hold, 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 hold. Keep holding, keep holding. Every single time the camera jumps, I want to adjust my controls to like the new camera direction, but I forget in these old games, you just want to hold the direction. I keep forgetting. Because I'm so used to new age gaming camera controls. Okay, there we go. It's oh, see that's what I mean <laughs> when I keep changing the camera. Love tank controls. <laughs> They're so confusing for my brain. I spent way too much time playing modern games nowadays. All right, let's go double check where we are on the map. We're here. We need to get to ground floor, first floor, second floor, but this is through the dining room, I believe. I think it's through the dining room. So I think we gotta go through here into this door. And then this way we can go through the stairwell up to the second floor. Yeah, 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 this way, this way. Okay. Okay, now let's go just confirm. Huh? Oh, we gotta go up one more floor, one more floor. Alright, one more floor. Some people will never know the struggles of playing the original PS1 games. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like my aesthetic. I love these games. The controls are a little clunky. Still not used to it, but I'm having a ton of fun. Oh, that's right. This is one of those. A round shaped hole in the base of the statue. Is this it? Oh. It's not this one. Interesting. It's the one to the side of it. But I wonder how we get there. Rain, hello. Thank you so much for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Alright, let's go through here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is where the ballerinas were. I don't want to fight them because I remember they're being really difficult to kill and they just kicked our butts, so... <gasps> okay, not that door. <laughs> yeah, 
the ballerinas. Oh, health. Let's scoop up the health. Okay. Whoa. Where are we? Hmm. The big room on the top right hand is the ballerina room that we just got out of. Interact with the piano? We'll try that, we'll give it a shot. Legs for days. They are really pretty though. Okay, piano. The keylet seems to be locked. <gasps> really? Oh, that's so loud. I'm so sorry, chat. Wait, what? <laughs> Another one of those unordinary locks. Okay. Six redfish, seven yellowfish, and then. Was it four bluefish? Or was it three? Seven blue? Four yellow? Uh, wait, red fish is smaller. Oh no, I don't remember. Three yellow? Was it three yellow? Seven blue, three yellow. Seven blue, three yellow. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just brute force the last one. It opened. Let's go. Oh. Fish key. Let's go. Ooh, got it. Oh my god. Oh, jeez, I forgot that does a lot of damage. Half health, half health. We're fine, we're fine. Now that we have the fish key, let's get out of here. Okay, we can get all the way back. Let's go. Oh my god, it took us, what? Like two hours? <laughs> it took us two hours to find this. Mighty good splits. I wish I could learn how to do the splits. I never learned how to do splits. Alright, do this door. Go back down here downstairs to the flooded area and then now we should be able to go through to the flooded region that asks us for the fish keys learn the splits for your 3d i don't even know when that's happening speaking of 3d chat uh regis altair leader of guild tempest of hollow stars english is having his 3d Tomorrow. Who's excited? Who's excited, chat? I'm excited. Oh, it's happening tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's open. I'm curious to know what's behind the fish door. Oh. Wait. I hear... I hear like footsteps, like wet, wet footsteps. Oh, what the heck? What? Wait. Wait, this place is huge. Wait, there's a monster there. You can see it light up. Huh. The angle's not good. Yeah, it's really hard to see what's down there. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Filled your med kit. You know what? Since we have a whole bunch of med kits now, oh, let's go ahead and heal up. 100% health all the way. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. Are you okay? Don't scare me like that. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I might have scared you a bit. I was out there to keep you safe. But I fell. Oh? Some of the dogs took one of my legs. It must be down there, somewhere. 
but I'm in no condition to fight them. So I wonder, could you help me out a little? Oh, he has such a soft voice. What the heck? Just a small chunk. Wait, no, I'm not gonna make this mistake again. I'm not gonna make this mistake. Uh, sorry, doll. I will come back. <laughs> Wait, let me say first. Let me say first. I don't want to make a mistake and have to do all this all over again. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'll help you, but I just need to save. <laughs> we get to book it. Just run all the way across the house again. Okay, I think the closest save is down here. Oh god, that's right, the fish are still there. Like the glass fish things. Hey, Flayon. Good to see ya. Hello, monkey moons. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a good day. Thank you for the rain. Oh my god, it's still alive. <laughs> They're so beefy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, fly on. Hello, Maki Runes. Koi Nichiwa. Welcome, welcome. We are playing Alyssa. We are, uh, I don't really know how to explain it other than we, it's like Alice in Wonderland, but kind of spookier. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Through here. There we go. Yeah. Are we on? Full health, good. Yeah. Ugh, I don't like this guy. Welcome. Okay. Save. Thank you. Items. Let's get some health. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm just gonna play it safe and get more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I, I just wanna stock up on as much as I can. All right. I saved before spending the money, so if it ends up that we didn't need to spend that much money, we'll end up uh, returning to this area with a bit more pocket change. Whoa, whoa, wait, camera, whoa. okay, there we go, there we go, we can also open this door, but one door at a time, one door at a time, game is that old, <laughs> I remember reading an article about this Game Informer magazine, oh, really, it's that old? I'm sure I could find some uh, of my old, like... <gasps> oh my god, what are you doing here, man? I want to go find some of those old magazines. Like the Nintendo Power magazines or whatever. Game Informer, all that stuff, yeah. Alright. What? Um... What? What do you mean, wave one? <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean, wave one? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? Oh no. Okay, thankfully, it's just these. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, how many waves are there gonna be? Ooh. Okay, okay. They kinda they kinda clump up together, so there we go. Whoa! Thankfully, the camera angle is very generous on this, on this level. Whoa. Okay. If 
anything, it's a good place for us to farm tooth wheels. There we go. Oh. Okay, wave two, wave two. We got this, we got this. If it's just those dolls, we're good. If it's anything else, we might be in danger. But oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, that's right, it's the one that crawls on the ground. Ah. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, the only way I've been killing these is by, like, getting the trap on stairs. Oh no. No. <laughs> I can't... I can't hit them, chat. They're crawling on the ground. I th yeah, I think we have to use our gun. Okay. No. Get, get, get out. Give me, give me some space, please. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. We good. We good. Reload. 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 Oh my god. Okay. I'm really glad that we have the nurse's outfit for the extra heals. Okay. There we go. No. 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 <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, I can't reload. Oh my god. Okay, heal. We have one more health. One more heal, one more heal. Reload, 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 reload. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we re reloaded. Okay. Okay, last one, last one. Oh no. Ooh. <gasps> you can hit him when they're jumping. Ah. Reload, reload, please, reload. Alyssa, please, Alyssa, please. What? What was that triple hit? Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, last heal, last heal. Please, please, please. Ooh, one down, one down, one down. Okay. Ah. Oh no. Reload. Ooh. Okay. 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 I think they're bugged. I think they're bugged. Okay, good. One. Oh shoot. I unbugged it. No. <laughs> Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Aim. What? Aim. There we go. <sighs> okay. Oh no. As long as there's something that's standing, it should be okay. As long as it's something standing, No, 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 no. Save, save my ammo. Save my ammo. We can take care of these. These are pretty easy. Okay. Save ammo on these ones. <gasps> what the hell is that? What? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, kill the, kill, kill the small ones. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I think it can only attack if it's di if I'm directly in front of it. So if I move to the side and I keep it spinning, it should be okay. Okay, one down. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, good, good, good. 
I can stay off to the side. I can see it has like a mouth right in front of it, and I don't think it can hit me if I'm like right next to it like this. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, the lag. Let's go. You can cheese it. <laughs> hey, we have your leg for you. Did you find it? Oh, we have to give it to her directly. Okay. Whoa. I'm so grateful that you returned my leg. Next time you're in trouble, I'll be there to return the favor. Aww. Oh, and I found this on my way here. You might need it. Fair tree, think about the gifted. Oh. Wow. Cute. The book. Now we can take it to the library. That one shelf that's missing the book. Okay, okay. First, we go all the way back out and we're gonna save one more time. We also need to buy some more healing because we're out of healing. <laughs> Don't know if she needed her leg. She was pretty fast, right? She just hustled out of there. Outro colors. Thank you for the two mods. Would you like some crackers with their cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Crackers and ham with the cheese. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Quady, thank you for re upping the membership. I'll take it. You know, I have not had a like a standard ham and cheese sandwich in almost several years now at this point. Uh oh, whoa. Hold. Hold. There we go. Since we're here and we're gonna save, we might as well go and heal up a little bit. Welcome. Okay, let's save. Thank you. Nice. Ham and cheese sandwich sounds good. Special girl. Well, PB and J. I've not had a PB and J sandwich in like a decade. Now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, take off our dress. Hop inside the hot hot tub recover our health while that's going on i want to go close my window real quick because it's getting pretty chilly we are back <sighs> it'll be like really quick It's really chilly. Only PB I had was during the student exchange in America. I want to try like those, what were they called again? Uncrustables? They're like uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that are like pressed so they don't have a crust, but it's just like the soft parts. I remember seeing those around and like, I know they're just regular peanut butter and jelly, but at the same time, like, I kind of want to get one. I want to get one and I want to toast it. All right, let's go put our clothes back on. Yeah. All right, time to buy some health. Welcome. Or not. <laughs> or not, okay. Um, no health. So we just have to make do with what we've got so far. All right. Time to head back to, oh, not this way. Oh. Uh, library with the book was at the main entrance area. Whoa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
Just ignore them. Just ignore them. They're not real. They can't hurt you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so e being. And I'm tired. All right, let's go back over here to the main area. And then we go upstairs and let's see what that shelf leads to. EP, I am EP, but I don't know why. Let me get some decent sleep. Whoa. Okay, there we go, there we go. Something unusual about the bookshelf. Books are stuck in the middle book is missing. Okay. Toss that in there. Uh. What? What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to pull the ball open? Like, like this? Is, is that what we're supposed to do? All of them open? Maybe? <laughs> uh, or are they all supposed to go in like like this? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, I was really confused. <laughs> like, are they supposed to come out or in? <laughs> the book is unlocked. There's a key inside. Oh, is that the tree key? Tree key. Okay, with the tree key. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh uh, no. This 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 way. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Oh. Okay. Camera. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of impressive how much progress we're making right after figuring out what the fish is meant. Like as soon as we got that, everything else, we're just like blazing through now. Yeah. Okay, tree key goes over here. Let's find out what's inside. Ooh. Oh, more of those vines. These metal metal roots. Okay. When is this place? Like a bathroom stalls? Hmm? <sighs> Lewis bullets. Okay. Nothing here. Door? <gasps> oh, it goes outside. Okay, before we go outside, let's check everything here. I've seen better toilets. <laughs> okay. Gate is locked. Lock has the shape of an apple. Okay, an apple key is next. Oh. This explains the front door. Oh, like the metal vines that are blocking it. So there was no way to break that. Okay. All the plants in the garden turned to metallic material. Turned into metallic material? Is... <gasps> oh! What the heck? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. What was that? 
Mm. Let's go. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, what? Oh, it's not stopping. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's get back. Is it still there? No. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not to the right. Let's go forward. Ooh. Is that a note? A diary page. August 13th, 1891. We found a large cave opening, and there are lanterns placed in this cavern. Are there other miners here? Miners? A cavern? Maybe... Maybe the house is built on top of a cave system, perhaps? This looks unusual. Must be some kind of mechanical puzzle. Rotating one dial makes the other dials turn in various directions. Ooh. Okay, so... I'm going to assume that we have to line up the notches. Okay, so what do you control? You control one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this one controls five and six. You control just three, or four and six. Easy. No way. The apple key is already here. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I kind of want to fight the tall sunflower man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. I kind of want to fight it. I just want to see what happens if I kill it. Okay, reload, 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 reload. <gasps> Damn, bring around the rosy. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is like marching. Look how fast it is. Whoa. Oh my god, please tell me it dies soon. Okay. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay. Oh no. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, there we go, there we go. And then... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, wait. Oh, good, 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 good. It grew like the metallic. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, now I'm curious. What's down this way then? Oh. Okay, there's a gate here. And then there's a further pathway going down this way. Oh. Oh, it takes us back here. Okay. I kind of don't want to waste ammo on this guy. They, they eat like 18 shots, so... I don't know if I want to waste it. Okay. Gate. Locked. Apple. Okay. Apple key. Fish key? Wait, can I select the apple key? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, what's over? Oh, that one's ranged! What? I mean... Okay, no, 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 focus, focus, focus. Diary page. 11th of August, 19... 1891. We've dug out some kind of luxurious looking metal ornaments. Strange cluster shaped objects. We can't make out whether man-made or nat whether they're man-made or naturally formed. It's treasure nonetheless, and we're going to be rich. 
luxurious looking metal ornaments. Oh my god. Okay, go, 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 go. I hear like the floaty bee thing again. Alright. I wonder if we can investigate like the plants. Ooh. Okay, that's gated. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh. Wait, why Why are they both kind of... Oh, health, health, health. Bold impact, thank you for the 11 months. Got two hands for the flower man and one for the flower lady. <laughs> Wait, but no, really, why they, why they, why they both kind of like, just, you know... I mean, at first I thought it was just swagger, right? I mean, like, I mean, sorry, at first I thought it was just like a hustle, but now it's like... Look at the shoulders. Like, look at that. Like... He owns this place. <gasps> oh, there's two of them. Okay. <clears throat> 27th of July. So, 18th of August. 11th. 27th, so this is before. More miners have quit. They all got spooked by the rumor that goes around. Apparently, 60 years ago, a sinkhole appeared out of nowhere and swallowed this huge asylum or something. Hey, you never know what kind of treasures might be buried here. I... I'm not sure I would go looking for treasures from an asylum that was swallowed up by a sinkhole. But this does make sense, that miners... Hmm. Miners are digging and looking into a cavern that already has lights installed in it. So at some point, an asylum was swallowed up by a sinkhole and fell deep underground. And then miners have been going through it trying to find... Or they successfully did manage to find some kind of metal ornament that they believe is treasure. Hero, thank you for the one year. Love how they're waiting for you to read the lore of the light. More games should be like this. If we're reading lore, it's like a timeout for everyone. Hmm. Also, Hero Okwady, thank you for re with the membership. Thank you for the one year. Thank you, thank you. So, 60 years ago, 1831-ish, about 60 years ago, a sinkhole appeared out of nowhere and swallowed a huge asylum or something. I wonder... Okay. There was an asylum. We don't know what kind of patients were involved. But a sinkhole happened. It fell down. And then I'm guessing years later, they built this mansion that we're trapped in on top of it. But... Hmm... Why would they be looking for treasures in a sunken asylum that fell into a sinkhole enough that they would bring miners in to try to, like, excavate it out? Why? What about the asylum was so important that they're looking for treasure in it? Oh. I mean... Come on, chat. Wouldn't you? Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Look at, look at those abs. <laughs> Actually, I'm more focused on this, the shoulders, but... Ooh. Okay, we do not have enough bullets to kill them. So we're just gonna run. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, look at that. Hang on, hang on. Look at that, okay. Look at him. You see that? <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. This way, back down here. Church, thank you. The great cheese on those men. Perfect, exactly. Ah! Oh! 
Oh, I forgot. She's ranged. Okay. Loop. Run. I'm just gonna watch out for her ranged attack. There it is. Oh, dodged. Just in time. Okay. So, July 1891. We're here because we're looking for treasure in the sunken asylum. August, a month later, we've dug up some luxurious looking metal ornaments, strange cluster shaped objects. We can't make out whether they're man made or naturally formed. It's treasure nonetheless, and we're going to be rich. I think it's got to be part of the same expedition, right? Because they're looking for treasure and like, yeah, we found this. We don't know what it is, but it's treasure nonetheless. So, hmm. I wonder, like, are they, were they sent here or were they just, oh, those, oh, it's a couple. Oh, it's a couple. Oh my God. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Heal. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. I forgot I had to unlock the door. <laughs> apple key, apple key. Go, go, go. There we go. Oh, oh no, not a couple, right? Happy. Um. Wait. What day is it? February 9th. In five days. Happy Singles Awareness Day, chat. Yeah. Okay. They wanted a third. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? This bush completely turned into metal. The branches are dangerously sharp. Okay. Attacking it doesn't do anything. Oh, there's something behind it. And then I'm guessing it opens up. Okay, closes that. But it opens that one. I think we have to go all the way back around then. Anyone who finds unidentified treasure in a weird hole is destined to a terrible end his dreams. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you find... Okay, like, this. here's the scientific term, chat. If you find some weird shit, right? Out there in, I don't know where it is, right? The forest, a graveyard, some weird ditch in the ground with like spooky stuff around it, right? If you find, and the scientific term is again, weird shit, right? Leave it alone. Don't touch it. Just leave it alone. Do not pick it up. Don't film yourself doing anything with it. Just leave it alone. And if you did pick it up, put it back. Just put it back. <laughs> okay, I think it was this way. Okay, so this is closed, which means this door opens. Oh my god. Okay, but I... Whoa, whoa, okay. Wait for it to pull out this way, and then swoop around. Put that thing back where it came from, so help me. <laughs> Dodge those. And I think this is where... Go here. Around the terraces. Through here. Oh! Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so it wasn't this one, but... Oh my god! Oh, there's so many! What the... Oh, no, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, I... Oh my god. No! No. <laughs> bad hug, bad hug. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, keep going, keep going. Uh, This way, this way. <gasps> no, I was wrong. It's the wrong one, the wrong gate. Uh-oh. Through here. <gasps> It's not this way. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, was the last time we saved chat? Wait, was the last time we saved? Oh my god, camera. 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 
No. No. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. Man. Darn it. How far back are we? We don't have the tree key. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, that, that's kind of painful. That's kind of painful. Okay. Yeah. I think we may need to get this one here. Pulls you away from danger, but we can't afford that. Hmm. Cosmetic use only, use at mirrors. No, I can't. Okay, okay. Oh no, we have to go. Oh gosh. Okay, wait, not this way. We have to go help the, the, the doll with the, oh God, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Like 60% health? Let's heal up. Let's heal up. Okay. There we go. Let's heal up first. We do the book instead? Do we get the book? Do we get the book already? Wait. After I heal up... Uh, after we heal up, we'll go ahead and get the... Uh, or check our inventory. If we already have the book... Then we don't have to worry about it. We can just go straight for the library and get the tree key. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna take a while to heal, because the hot tub hot tub healing is really slow. I believe you got the book. Didn't we? Okay, we'll check, we'll check. Ooh. Ooh. I want some food chat. I had what did I have? I had like a stir fry of mixed vegetables and some beef. That's really it. But it was like a small bowl of it. It wasn't. It wasn't that much mud. It wasn't that much uh, food. I mean, I'm here just taking big gulpfuls of of tea to like. Drown out my my hunger. <laughs> Consuming corn, nice. How do you guys eat your corn? Do you guys eat your corn in like a very orderly fashion? If I'm hungry, I'll just kind of dig into the corn, right? But if I'm not hungry and I'm using the corn as a snack, I I just go like kernel by kernel. Like one kernel, I just like grab one kernel and then I like, uh, like I use my teeth like a tweezer and I'll just like bite onto one kernel and I'll pull it off and I'll just munch on that for a little bit. And then I'll just like munch like one kernel at a time as opposed to like just taking a big bite. That's so much effort. No, 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 it's not, it's not for like effort, but it's for like, if I'm just snacking on the corn and I'm not like hungry. So like, I'm just kind of like you know, watching something, or maybe I'm working and having a small snack on the side. Butter with tahini. Oh, that sounds really good. Typewriter style, line by line. Oh, yeah. Why not scrape them all into a bowl? I don't know. It just feels. It feels nicer. Like there's something satisfying about being able to pull one kernel out at a time. And then seeing how clean the cob is afterwards. I don't know. It's kind of satisfying. It's fun eating one by one. Right? That's what I'm saying. I know for me, um, like if I'm, if I'm in a rush, what I'll do is I'll just take a knife and then I'll just scrape the corn kernels. Because um, you can just like take a knife and then just go straight down the cob. And then you get like nice little bunches of kernels. Like really easy. But it leaves like a little bit of the corn like starch still inside the cob and it's not as clean as I would like it try that next time yeah feels nicer but it's a mess would rather scrape using a spoon or chopstick mm, that's true that's true 
Yeah, full heal. Let's go. Okay. Put the dress back on. Okay. Inventory check. Oh, nice. There we go. I'm told to eat corn like a squirrel. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong way. This way. That's kind of cute. I want to see squirrels eating corn now. All the way through here. Oh, no. <gasps> no. <laughs> I just healed. No. Ma'am, please. <gasps> that hug ate half of my health. Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, back into the hot tub. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we go. <laughs> we go back into the hot tub. <laughs> Me, at any slight inconvenience, jumps back into the hot tub. <laughs> Time for more corn. Really want to hug us to death. Yeah. Big squeeze hugs. <laughs> I want I want like a like a pocket hot tub. You know how when Dragon Ball Z Capsule Corporation made those uh little capsules that you can like click? You like you click the capsule and you toss it and like it you know, a car pops out or like a bus pops out or something, right? I want like was it like an air like an airplane or a helicopter during like the cell sock I think Bulma had a capsule where all the um, the Z fighter friends like would hop into like an airplane to like watch the fight from a distance right imagine a capsule but it's a hot tub you click it toss it and then you know just poof a nice little hot tub ready for you to go yeah I wonder if we'll ever have technology like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty nice for camping. Yeah. A capsule house too, right? That, <laughs> that, chat, that's it. That's how we'll be able to afford a home. <laughs> Magical, super high-tech capsule homes that we can, can purchase from Capsule Corporation. That would be the only way we can actually buy a house in, in this economy. <laughs> Storage would be so nice, right? If only those kind of capsule houses were a thing, yeah. Church, thank you for the super. Those capsules, their whole houses in the hot tub would be really, really easy for her. Yeah. I've seen people, um I don't know if it's a if, I don't know if it's a social media thing. As in like, I don't know if people are actually doing this, or if it's like a very, very tiny minority of people who can afford it that are doing this. But I saw um, some videos about people buying like prefabricated homes off of Amazon or something um, and living in those. They're like, oh, I can't afford a house, so I'm going to buy these prepackaged, uh, pre built, prefabricated homes off of Amazon and then I'll just live there, right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, that's. Where do you have the land? Like, where are, are you just setting it up in some random public park? Like, where do you find the land space to install it? You know, like, where are you getting the electricity, the water, the plumbing? Like, where, where's all that coming from? Right. 20,000. That's more money than I have in my entire bank account. 20,000. It's like a very fancy shipping container isn't it <laughs> 20,000 yeah that's way more like I can't afford that even it's kind of it's a little sad is it considered a mobile trailer park I have no idea I only saw them they don't have wheels they're just like a big shipping container with like a a door and a window and some stuff I think I'd rather just have a van home. Yeah. That's what I might end up doing. Just, just get a van home. Mooch off of like Starbucks Wi-Fi. <laughs> Take a shower at the local parks and just drive around. Kind of sad how fabricated homes and trailers used to be 20, 30k themselves. Now you can't even get one for less than 50. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Have you ever heard of a knockdown house? Portable pre-made house though. 
I think it's similar in the concept, but I mean, I can't even afford those, so. On top of the needing land, utilities talk about luxury, right? I, I'll i just stick with, like, I don't know, those cardboard boxes that you get refrigerators in. <laughs> 20k sounds like a miracle because cheap houses is over 200k. Oof. <gasps> Full heal, let's go. Church, think about the super. Falling down the rabbit hole of people building miniature campers that are small enough to be pulled behind a bike. <gasps> a bike? That seems really tiny. Okay, hang on. Let's go ahead and heal now. Yeah. Or, sorry, let's go ahead and save. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. I don't want that puppet. Welcome. That puppet sounds really weird. Is it really a miniature camper if you can pull it with the bike? At that point, I wonder, it's like, it's, it's just like a small tent, you know? Ooh. Okay. The size of a tuk-tuk three-wheel car. Man. That's like, that's enough to sit down in. <laughs> that's basically like a portable closet, isn't it? Can't be much bigger than that. All right. All the way up to the top, back into the main entrance, and then head over to the library. Hmm. This way. Oh. Oh. Wait. Camera, please. Camera. There we go. Oh, we... <laughs> so, Leia, they give it the super. Here's half a Planet Fitness membership. They have okay showers, but laundry is money. Sign up for you in a Victorian English maid or French maid outfits. I hate to say it, but I don't actually know the difference at the moment. I can't visualize what they what the differences are. French maid outfits? What do they look like? I need a reference image for those. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, item. Locked book. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the soup puzzle there. Church, thank you for the soup as well. Some of them are nicer than apartments I lived in. Small but shockingly roomy, custom made with teeny weeny kitchen areas and everything. Ooh, even a kitchen? Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Let's... Uh, I'll just go these one by one. Oh shoot, that's right. Okay. Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, I gotta this first. Push those back in. No wait, it's gotta be three. So oh, wait. Uh, push them both in. Wait, it's gotta be in, right? They all have to go in. Not out. In. <laughs> right? Was it in or was it out? I forget. I think it was in, right? In. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to pull them out and I was like, wait a minute, this feels wrong. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Can't find a normal French made outfit, so I say Victorian. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Wait, door here. Okay. Since we're here, let's go ahead and save. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, now we have the tree key, and we're saved. Good on health-ish, but no healing. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, now we save. Now we have the tree key. And then we should be able to head out to the garden after this. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have to go slowly go back up. <laughs> okay, I wonder, wait, can I, can we sh Hmm. The gang does say the woman in the black dress is a valid target, so... Huh.
Really? Oh no. Wow. Wow, she's really tanky. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. <laughs> Since we saved above, let's go let's go load the save. <laughs> Is it registering? Yeah, um, so the way that the game's auto-aim works is there's a little targeting reticle. Ooh, it's a little loud. Oh wait, Chad, you guys never saw the opening cinematic. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Tooth wheels. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's not waste bullets on the lady in black because I don't know if you can actually kill her. She registers as a valid target, but I, I don't know if she has like health health. All right. Let's go ahead and use the tree key to open the door that goes outside. Items. Keyring. Tree key. Can't. Come on. Okay, face the. <laughs> there we go. 70% legs. Nice. Alright. There's some bullets over here. Lewis bullets. And then we go out here. And then there's some more bullets here. I'm gonna go this way first to get the apple key. Woo! -hoo. Okay, to the left first. Oh, hey! There's another one of these. Looks like a door, but it won't move. Ooh! Wait! Have we not been here before? This place looks new. <gasps> Oh, so this is where- okay, 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 okay. We gotta go here when we pull the switch. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, through here. Where was the way to open the- the thing? Yeah, through here, maybe? I vaguely remember this map area. Whoa. Okay, through here. Okay, yeah, forward. Right? This is where the puzzle should be. August 13th. We found a cave opening. Lanterns are placed in the cave. Are there other miners here? Hmm. Ah, yes. There we go. Must be some kind of mechanical puzzle. So, it's that. <coughs> Uh, wait. Wait. Oh no, I forgot the thing. This controls those two. This controls that. And then this one controls. Oh shoot, I've forgotten. <laughs> Set it. Okay. This one controls one and two. This one controls wait from the top. Okay, these two are together. So we have to line up three and four first. So three. How do we get three and four? Which one controls three? Or four? Which one controls four? That one controls four. Okay. Huh? Oh, it's these two. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to go with... Turn you here. Okay, 
that gets the bottom one and the top one. So I gotta turn you one more that way. Turn this. That way. And then the bottom one. And then we got the top one that we can't move yet. Oh no! <laughs> Munchido, thank you for the super. Made up, but so nice, but have you guys seen Butler's outfits? Boys, girls, everyone looks amazing with us, by the way. Have you heard Tempest has new merch? We do have new Butler merch. <laughs> Butler merch. We do have merch, yeah. If you would like to check it out, it's on the Twitter. It's for Valentine's Day sales. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, Chad, I've lost it. Can you turn you that way? These two have to go together, so I gotta figure out. Wait, where is the snotch? Okay. There we go. Pull that back. Where's the notch on this one? Ooh. Those together. Oh, wait. No. Keep those together. And then I have to move the fourth one over. So those three line up. The top one has to line up with that. And I have to get these two to line up. But I want to move these independently from it. Oh no, I've forgotten. <laughs> ah, the last one's on the top. Okay. Venon, thank you. Have fun at Apex tomorrow. Also, the VP was super cute. I could tell you put a lot of that new merch. Ah, thank you, thank you. The the Apex thing might not actually happen because uh, we're having a little bit of a trouble trying to find a third person, so... <laughs> I, I don't think that one's going to actually happen. Sorry, Chad. We, we were looking for one. Yeah. Okay. I kind of want to just keep spinning these around because the sound is satisfying. Okay, keep these together. But I want to move... Is it that that way? If I move this one, it moves... There we go, okay. Ornella, what do you think for the seven months? Thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, hopefully everyone has a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Ornella, happy birthday. Thank you so much for being the membership. Congrats on surviving another trip around the sun. Hope you're able to treat yourself to something nice and tasty. Happy birthday. <gasps> Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, okay, Whoa, wait, camera, camera, no. <laughs> No. No. Okay. Run. Y you know what? Here, we'll, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Do I have any health? No, I don't have any health. No, I just finished the puzzle too. The lady in black is actually kind of frustrated to deal with. Oh my god. Okay. Swing. Wait. Go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Go back inside. Go back inside. Wait, the question is, do I really want to save, though? Do I really want to save with no health and no healing? No, not here, not here too. I don't, want to, I don't want to save because we have nothing. We have nothing. Okay. Oh. Apple, Apple key. 
Kelly. Thank you so much for the super. Sam was like slurping a drink that has very little, little liquid left in it. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. The little... The little... Uh, what do you even call... What do you even call that? Can't use it here. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Man. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. We saved after getting the tree key, so... We're good. Wait. Please tell me that there's some health that we can buy. Welcome. No. Wave number two in that one arena level, that completely messed us up. I had to use four med kits on that one level because the thing's crawling into the ground, I couldn't hit them. If it weren't for that, we would have so much health right now. Man. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Got this. Face face the door. Items. Keys. Oh, wait, wrong key. Bit out of context, but your voice helps me a lot with my sleep deprivation. Nice, let's go. Okay. Scoop up the Lewis bullets here. All the way out into the courtyard. And then we scoop out the Martin bullets here. And then we go through this side. And then we go straight ahead. So from here, through this little area. And then avoid that. Run through. Whoa. And then we go north. Where I'm what I'm guessing is north. Out here, behind. Out of date on hello. Thank you so much for re-upping the membership. Thank you for the one year. Almost 5 a.m. means good night, Shinri and everyone. Much love. 5 a.m.? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please get lots of sleep. Okay. I've <laughs> I'm learning how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ever. You played that membership. We get lots of good sleep, lots of rest. Okay. Got the key, so we gotta go back here around this area. First thing first is open this one. Apple. Yeah. Okay, jump through. Why is she why is she moaning? Oh no, oh no. Okay, swing around. There we go. Run. Ooh, dodge, dodge. There we go. Okay. Go through the terraces. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Go through the terraces and pull the switch and then we have to run away. Through here. Through there. Turn. Around. Grab the heels. Perfect. Swing by. Okay. Up. Avoid that. Pull the switch. Pull, pull, pull the switch. Pull the switch. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Those two are open. Then we run out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now we run back through the terraces. Camera, camera, please. Camera, please. Camera, please. Okay. Oh, my God. Camera, camera. Through here, down, down, left, down, back into the main courtyard. Watch out for the ranged attacks. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Pull her up here, then swoop around. Watch out for the ranged attacks. Ow. Okay. Go through here again. Ooh. Okay. Around here. Swing. Back around. We'll enter the main courtyard area. And from here, let's go back and we're gonna save. Oh my god. Okay. Back inside, back inside, back inside. Okay, now we save. <laughs> oh. 
This is stressful. This is stressful. <laughs> oh my goodness. The camera angles chat. They are really tripping me up. Okay. Go inside. All the way here. And then let's go ahead and save. Welcome. Thank you. <sighs> what do we need to do for them to restock the med kits? We should heal. We should heal. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna save I'm gonna save the med kit. Because we just saved. I'll use it when we're like almost about to die. They won't. Oh no. Heal in the bathhouse? Should we chat? Should we go all the way down to the bathhouse and heal up again? It's gonna be It's gonna take forever to get back here though. <laughs> J just to be safe, let's do it. It's free, yeah. Kill another boss or find another zone. Why are there only one safe places? There's two safe places that we know already. One in the flooded area and one upstairs next to the library. So down here is another save point, but... Oh, come on. Okay. Let's try, let's try. Okay. okay, she's not there. Good, good, good. <laughs> Alright, let's go. The glass monsters are still here. But we don't have to fight them because we can just run past, which is nice. Through here. Keep going. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Take off the dress. And then hop in the bath for free healing. Where are we at right now? About like 30%. 30%. Hopefully there'll be more later. Yeah, I think we have to uh, like make some progress in this story in order to move on to the next segment. And then in the next segment is when they'll give... Uh, like a restock for the shop. Ooh. Ooh. She opened the fish door? No, because I was going through trying to figure out exactly what was in the other door. One door at a time. But we should open the other fish door. Have we fought another boss since the crazy doctor? No, not yet. Not yet. I think from the menu, it's suggesting that there's four more bosses that we haven't seen yet, so... This game might take a while. <laughs> you might have to come back to this next time. Four? Yeah, I think there's like four more bosses. Hmm. Also, chat, um, I think everyone has noticed when this schedule that uh, the membership stream is at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. But that's also one hour before Altair's 3D debut. So it'll be another short. Um, it'll be another short membership stream. Probably won't have anything to uh, Tom Holland with because I've already kind of revealed everything that's <laughs> planned um, in last week's membership stream. <sighs> Um, so it'll probably just be like a another short membership stream, build up some hype before Altair's 3D, and then we'll send you over to his 3D, and then we can all celebrate and watch together. I'm really curious to know what he's got planned. I'm a little bit like, man, on one hand, Axel's 3D was really cool. On the other hand, he set the bar so high, and it's like, oh, like, if I ever get a chance to do a 3D for myself, like, can I, can I even meet that standard? You know, like, he's already set the bar pretty high. Your time will come. I don't know when that's going to be, and when if it does, it's like, will it be as good, good as, as his, you know? Cause like, he's had so many songs, and that, like, 
on stage swagger and the presence that he had just a natural performer <laughs> one day yeah one day we can dream right fits him you can reach that bar in a different style we'll see we'll see yeah puniko that's pretty awesome puniko is pretty great isn't it yeah <laughs> Dream big. I will. Uh, your appeal is that you're a big man who's also a huge dork. Am I a dork? Am I a dork, chat? <laughs> Too great in their own way. Man. I don't even know. Like... I want to ask them all. I want to ask both of them. Just like, what was it like preparing for it? You know, like, what, what did you guys do? What were you thinking? Did, like, what did Manachan and Manasans do? You know? All right, let's take a look. Full health, let's go. Okay. Let's go ahead and put on our clothes. Fitz, thank you so much for 11 months. Okay, okay. Happy Lunar Indonesian me. Looking forward to your 3D too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for re upping the membership. All the talk of 3D is nice, but I have no idea what it's gonna be, so. <laughs> okay, this door that we have not opened yet. Let's take a look inside. Maybe there'll be like health inside. All right, let's go. What? What on earth? Oh, that is really creepy. It doesn't have legs. It's like a full-on, like, mermaid doll thing. Uh, do I... Do I... Should I shoot it? Hudankun, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Go get some hearts in chat for Hudankun and the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I don't want to waste too many bullets. So I'm going to try to see if I can wait for it to like swim by where my... The path of my bullet's going to be. I'm gonna wait for the crosshairs to light up, and then when it lights up, I'm gonna fire. Oh, got two. Okay. Three. Four. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. If you received it, uh, if you received the uh, gifted membership, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Ooh. Oh, so this is what deep water is. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. What? Oh, there's more water. Uh-oh. Maybe we might need the... We might need to get the outfit. Oh, jeez. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Wait. Okay, that didn't, do, that didn't do that much damage. That didn't do that much damage. But I can't. It's it's so fast. It's so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, oh, oh, no, no, wait, wait, door, 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 I gotta get out of here, door, oh no, I'm so slow, I'm so slow, no, <laughs> no, no, oh my god, <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we're going to need a swimsuit in order to do that. I don't know if we'll have any ability to actually tackle that. Okay, apple key. 
Is it swimsuit time? Is it? Welcome. Ten percent defense. Move faster in deep water. A faster release from grab. Okay, so that does less damage for the grabs. I think we may need to have it. Thank you. Okay, swimsuit time. Fine, fine. Okay. Ah, oh, that looks so weird. When did she get green lipstick? Is what I'm like wondering. <laughs> Where's the green lipstick come from? Fish strip. Man. Okay. Let's see if this actually helps us now. Wait. Since it's a swimsuit, do you think we can just jump into the bath while wearing this? I thought it'd be a one piece, not a full on costume. That's what I think. That's what I thought too, yeah. It comes with the outfit. <laughs> okay, let's go get ready to heal. So through here. Spooky ghost lady? No. Okay. Items, fish key, Mickey, thanks for stopping by, hope you have a wonderful night, please get good sleep. Okay, let's jump in and see how fast we are. <gasps> oh, you can swim with the swimsuit, oh my gosh, that is fast. Okay, reload. Yo, that's super fast. Look at that. Look at that. We, we don't have to, I don't think we have to fight them. I think we can just swim, swim away from them. Oh my God, oh my God. Camera, camera please. Okay. Oh geez. Oh geez, door, door, door. Oh, so this is the area that we saw earlier. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Is it a maze? Oh my god, it is a maze. Oh, health. Oh, let's go. Two med kits. Yeah. All right. Through here. Not there. Okay, that's a dead end. Go this way. Oh no, with the camera changing angles and perspectives, I don't know how far we are from like the... I, I, it's hard for me to visualize what the maze looks like. Ooh. Bob shells. Am I going the right way? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, good, 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 good. I think, maybe? I have no idea where we are. No, okay, we're getting back to the beginning. Mazes are difficult as it is already, and now I can't see where we're, oh my god. <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea for a maze? Which way am I go? where am I? <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Uh, this way? No, this way's back. Okay. Uh, I think I have to keep going to this way. To the right. And then left. And then dodge this. <gasps> no! Oh, okay. And then we go through here. And... And it's a dead end. It's a dead end. <laughs> Further back here? Around? Okay. Oh my god. Is this... Where am I? Oh. Oh. Door. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Where is this place? What the heck? Whoa.
What? What is this? Oh, whoa. Who is that? What a monstrosity. Most of it looks fossilized and parts of it are made of glass. It's holding something. Decorated metal disc. Looks important. Poseidon disc. Oh. Oh, she thick. Why is she so thick? Wow. Okay. That one is locked. It has the spikes in front of it, so we can't go in there. What? Why? What's with the glass, though? Fossilized and parts of it are made of glass. Huh. Oh. That's pretty. Look at that. That's kind of pretty. Yeah. All right. Poseidon disc. I think. Wait a minute. Does it have a trident on it? It does. I think this slots into the statue wielding this trident. Remember at the very top it had the statues with the little circular like inlet? And there they had one of them had a spear and the other one had a trident and they were both blocking the door. I think this one belongs in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's one with the Pos Poseidon disc that has a trident. The other one must have a Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <gasps> oh my Oh my god, are you serious? Are you Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. No. <gasps> no oh my god. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold up. <gasps> okay, heal, heal, heal. Oh no. That did so much damage. Whoa! Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no, let's get a little bit closer. I don't think we have enough ammo for this though. Okay. Thank you, Dolphin. Keeping her distracted. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, not again. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, even the doll has to heal. Wait, can I... <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. I can use a spear against her. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Camera angles. Camera angles, please. Okay. I'm out of ammo. That's okay. Yes. Spear. Spear. Use it. Use it. Throw. Yeah. Okay, she's distracted. Go. Get close, get close. Ooh. Oh, the sound is so kind of gross. I mean, it's... Is it? Is it though? Okay, okay, don't- oh no! <laughs> Wait, there's a boss in here, oh my god. Okay, we need to- we need to get some- we need to get some ammo. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, 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 we got this, we got this. At the very least, we can beat that one. Save items, more ammo. We might as well, we might as well. Okay, save. Exit. Malmorose, give it a super. Is the boss's name silly a boy low? It literally means drink water. <laughs> Boilo or is it bo Boilo? I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly. It means drink water though. <laughs> Common French surname. Ah. Boilo. Ah. <laughs> Edith, drink water. Okay, let's go all the way down. Um, first things first, heal. So we're gonna go heal and then change into our swimsuit. And then we'll go through the crazy maze, which I don't know how they decided that was a... Fixed camera angles in a maze. How is that supposed to work? All right, let's keep going. Hydration check. Oh, thank you, thank you. <sighs> oh, that's very, ooh. I think I left the tea bag in there steeping a little bit too long, so it is very, very strong. That was a very strong tea. Oof. Okay, turn. Go down here. All the way here. Okay, wait, I'm curious. Can I just wear the swimsuit and take a uh, hot tub? Swimsuit. Hot bath would be great. But not like this. Ah, uh, even with the swimsuit, you gotta take it off. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh. I feel like we didn't make any progress today besides getting the keys. The tree key and the apple key. Ooh. No bathing in the bathing suit, yeah. He probably damages it, maybe. That could be it. She's a tall drink of water. <laughs> you gotta take your sword in the bath, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. You never know when something's gonna pop out of the water and you gotta stab it. We found the boss. This is true. I think what we'll do is, uh, after we heal, we'll go save one more time. Um, just to kind of like make this a save point here and then fight the boss again And then I think we might call it after the boss fight because I am pretty hungry <laughs> You found some lore. That's true. We did find some lore this mansion Whatever it is is built above a cavern Where the asylum was found when it was sunken into um, that sinkhole but we're still not really sure what they mean by when they say things like, we found that metallic object, something in clusters. And from the plants that we saw outside, the way that Alisa described it, it was like, it was as if the plants themselves turned into metal. And we have that recurring thing of organic material turning into inorganic material, the vines turning into metal, the people, whatever they were before, turning into glass and swimming. It's that reoccurring motive of people of, well, not necessarily people, but living things turning into either, you know, being petrified, turning into glass or turning into metal. I wonder if whatever they found in that asylum is causing things to turn into that. But then the question is, why are we here? You know? Why are we... Why were we dragged into this? Because all we were doing is trying to figure out who the thief was that stole the military papers at the very beginning. Yeah, they're turning into inorganic material. Why is it always asylums? Why can't they be like... An evil burger place. <laughs> An evil burger place. With like a... Perhaps a... 
like a happy meal, like a happy burger farm of sorts, perhaps. I don't know. I think I think the idea is like asylums are generally a little bit mm, like eerie to think about, a little bit disconcerting, a little bit kind of like it makes you like you're, like you're unsure of things, like this uncertainty there, you know, like things that we don't quite fully understand. Especially here, um, because the time period in the game is in the 18, or not the 1860s, but like the 1900s ish, like 1910s, because we're we're guessing it's around World War One era. So like back then, they probably didn't understand like a full meaning of like you know like what do uh, like mental illnesses entail. You know, we don't really under they didn't understand it back then. So. If someone had those illnesses, you would just put them away in the asylum and they just kind of like put them away because we don't understand, but just kind of keep them there. So it's like places where you put people where maybe you're not really sure. That uncertainty is kind of what scares you, you know? They barely understand the now. Yeah. So like the asylum, it would be the place where. You know, something is happening, something is affecting people, and you because you don't know, you're scared, you know, like, what if it affects me too, you know, is, is it possibly contagious? Like, you wouldn't understand the science behind it back then, you know? So that's why, like, the concept of these kind of asylums being places where strange things that you don't quite understand, it kind of fits into that vibes, you know? The white room and everything that's worse to do. Mm. The idea that lobotomy, ideas of lobotomies and what we did to so many people is awful. Yeah. We just didn't understand it back then, you know? Power imbalance goes crazy. The power dynamics, the people that are one of the key factors in a horror game. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. One huge guessing game back then with the mental illnesses. I mean, it's still, to this day, we still don't fully understand everything. And we're trying the best we can, you know, trying out different types of therapies, different types of strategies. And even then, you know, we're, we're still trying, in the process of learning how it all works. Because, you know, the, the human brain is a very complex organ. I don't know if we'll ever really be able to fully understand it, you know? Minty, thank you for the one year. Time really flies when you're having fun. Here's to many more. Happy Lunar New Year. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Quady, thank you for giving that membership. And yeah, Happy New Year to everyone as well. I doubt they will in our lifetime either, to be honest. Probably not. Probably not. But, you know, advancements are being made. People are doing research and studying the best we can with the technology we have and the tools and all that, so... Maybe in the future we'll we'll be able to understand it. The brain is amazing and has cam fixed camera angles of its own. <laughs> so sorry, I work in pharmacy, learned that antidepressants weren't even originally indicated to treat such things as an accident for some people that it works. That some people were free. Oh, it's an accident that some work for people. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we're just trying to do, do our, we're all trying to do our best, right? And if it means like trying to find out ways to help. Wait, hold up. We got swimsuit, swimsuit. Water level. Gotta fight the. Fight Ursula. No, Edith. <laughs> Save. Okay. Full health? Yeah. 90 bullets. We have 99 bullets. Alright. Come on, Edith. Let's have a rematch. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> oh, no. Not the woman in black. Oh, my God. Camera angles, please. Okay. We're going to heal. No, no, no. I, I want to fight Edith at full health. <laughs> Me. Again. At any slight inconvenience. Hops into the hot bath. <laughs> Not the lady again. 
99 problems in a bullet ain't one. <laughs> we have to stop meeting like this, right? <laughs> Man, I really could go for a hot tub, like a nice little bath. I forget who it was, but like the whole bath water thing, I'm so like, I don't know. I, I kind of like a little bit disappointed that bath water has become a commodity now. So you can't really talk about taking a bath without someone being all like oh, VTuber bath water merch. You know, like they always talk about that. It's like, man, I missed the time when you could talk about having a bath without people jumping to oh, merch, merch, merch. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time, chat. There was a time when bath water was not a commodity, when it was just considered a byproduct of taking a bath. Back when water was pure, yeah. Do people still sell bath water? Some do. I, I'm sure some do. Either, like, ironically, some people will probably do it unironically, but, you know. Yen, thank you. Thank you for the nine months. Okoidi, okoidi. Bath water? No, we need koi pond water. <laughs> thank you so much for yapping the membership. Okay, though. Okay, though. But really, but really. Pond water is really cool. Um, I forgot who it was, but I saw someone... Um, what they did was they get a really big mason jar. And they went over to the local pond, or like a lake, I think. Um, and what they did was they went and scooped a whole bunch of pond water and uh, some of the, like the mud at the bottom of it and some plants. And they basically just built like a mini little um, aquarium, like a terrarium, but with pond water as like the main thing. And then they just let it grow on its own. And it was so cool to see all this, oh, come on. It was so cool. Oh, camera angles, please. It was so cool to see all those tiny little creatures from the pond water. Because there's so much life inside, like, a single jar of water. It was really cool to see. And then they would do, like, little updates here and there. Uh, wait. Fish, fi, fi, fish key, fish key. Fish key. There we go. Aquarium terrarium. Yeah! Like the self-sufficient ecosystem thing. Yeah, those. Those are like so cool. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna try to kill this. You know what? No, we can just walk past it. I think we swim fast enough to avoid it. Ooh. Go. Oh, yes. Haha. <laughs> I watched this before. It's fun. It is. And you get to see like little creatures, like little bugs growing in there. And then what you do is you leave them out on like a windowsill and then uh, you basically let it kind of stabilize after a little while. And then after it stabilizes, you can kind of see, you know, which plants start growing again, what kind of bugs start growing out of it. It's so cool. I think the pathway was here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, get, get away, get away. Uh, <laughs> what? Lewis bullets. No, 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 no. Please, please, please swim fast. I don't know which way I'm going. Am I going the right way? It's chasing me. No. <laughs> this way. And then to the right. S around. Right. Again. Down. Left. And then... Uh, wait, no, is it straight down to the right? Oh my god, I'm so lost. I hate this. I hate this level so much. This way, right? No, dead end. Uh, all the way down and then left. Left. Circle around. Good. <laughs> is it this way? I don't know which way it is. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> It's always the water levels, yeah. Hello, Edith. Okay, wait, real quick. Like, 80% health? And one med kit. 80% health and one med kit. Not too bad, not too bad. 
Yoda Panda, hello. Thank you so much for 11 months. Okoidi, okoidi. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's grab it. Okay. Oh. I kind of want to save the bullets. Munchido, thank you for the 11 months. Mm -hmm. I crazy this late. Your last. Is the last day on M11 blue coin? Ah. No, but I'm still here to you. I didn't get to this, but I'm happy that you're here. Found you, you're comfy, warm. You make me smile. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your the membership. Okay, wait, hold up. That didn't do much. That didn't do too much damage. Okay, maybe we let the doll take care of it. Like her. <laughs> Can, can we just stay safe and let the doll take care of her? Or will the doll also die? I'm not sure. Oh, no. Well, the doll has to heal, so I'm sure she also takes damage. Maybe we can... Hmm. Whoa. Okay. Try to, try to, try to... Throw. Yeah. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Okay, I kind of feel bad letting the doll take all the all the damage. Oh <gasps> no! Wait, she can die. Wait. Is there a different ending depending on whether or not we save the doll? Wait, now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Now I wanna. Should I just die? I kind of want to fight her and survive. Restart? I kind of want to. She died so early this time. Yeah, like, previously she was able to survive a lot longer. Oh. Man. Okay, no, no, no. I want, I want, I want her to survive. I want the, I want the doll to survive. Okay. Man. Okay, it's okay. We saved real close, though. We saved real close. Maybe it's because she had no time to heal. Yeah. Okay, this time we're going to go and save our friend. Please, no lady in the black dress. Please, no black dress lady. No hugs. Not this time. I just want to go fight. <laughs> No, the thing is, she's the first doll that we've met who is friendly to us. So I kind of want to keep her safe, you know? Okay. Into the water. And then, oh shoot, oh shoot. Swim, 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 swim. Swim. Cat, oh no, cat wrangles. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah. A doll that isn't trying to murder you, exactly. Alright, swim. Sassy Leslie, hello! Thank you so much for the 12 months. Thank you, thank you. A whole year, let's go. Love your stream, your voice is deep but comfy. Keep it up, lore. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Quady, thank you for re upping the membership. Okay. Let's try to see if I can remember the path through the maze. Just through here and oh Blech. no not again oh it's chasing me no <laughs> oh my god camera angles please oh there's a second one dodge it go around yes okay I think there's one area here that has medkit, but I don't want to grab it right now because I feel like we're going to waste too much time. Okay. Gun. Nine bullets. About 70% health. Pick up the medallion and then we just spam bullets. Okay. Okay, there we go. Pick it up. Yeah. 
Chain 8 Lines. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. 5.30 a.m. Please get some sleep. All right. Let's go. Okay. Together. Power of friendship. Or, sorry. Power of gun. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I just... <laughs> I just ate two... Okay, okay. Half health, half health. I'm fine. Whoa. Reload. Reload. Okay. Power of friendship and bullets. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, okay. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, heal. <laughs> no, I'm doing so poorly. Half health though. She's at half. Oh, try it, try it. Throw, throw. Go. Protect my friend. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Try it again. Go, 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 go. Throw it. Oh, thank goodness the animation makes me invulnerable. Reload. 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 <laughs> half health. Half health. Reload. Whoa. Oh my god. No. Ooh, like 30% health. Oh jeez. Reload, reload. Avoid the... F oh no, I can't avoid the fish. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that sound. Almost there, almost there. Reload one more time. Go, go. <gasps> yeah! Let's go! even get to say good job okay but it does change if she doesn't die she gets whisked away by the woman in black hmm. Ooh. okay can we get out of here no Ooh. okay go 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 okay now we need to go save her she helped us so much. Oh my goodness. You know? The design... Oh jeez, oh jeez. The design of these mermaids kind of remind me of that one skeleton. The purported mermaid skeleton. It kind of reminds me of that. Does anyone know? Okay, let's go back and save. And go save. Oh, what? What the heck? Wait, why are there dolls here? Whoa. The Fiji mermaid? I think that's the one, yeah. Okay, wait. Since we beat the doll, I wonder. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, Edith does show up. After we beat her. Javelin. A crystal javelin, good for poking and throwing. Glass orb. Mysterious glass orb. I can see my reflection in it, but it's not quite me. Brings you back from the dead. Oh. 
Wait, that's actually... That might be nice. That might be nice. Good for poking Anthro. But you can poke Anthro. Ah. Uh, seems like a one-time use. Okay, if it's a one-time use, that might be pretty bad. Hmm. It doesn't say. That's the thing. I don't know if it's a one-time use. It, it has to be a one-time use, though, right? Because... If it brings you back from the dead constantly, you would never die. If it's cheaper, I would assume it's a one-time use. Yeah, 20, 20 tooth wheels versus 35. Hmm. Say first and try it. We can't afford it, unfortunately. Any new modifications? No. We should heal first before I save, just so that we have a full health bar when we, uh... When we load the save. Moonshido, thank you, thank you. Blue Koi for the last time, and tomorrow I'll be diamond. It's kind of crazy. You're warm welcoming. The fuck community you gather true to show you how good you are. I hope you have a I hope you have great fun and smiles in the new year. Thank you. Moonshido, thank you so much. Thank you for the orange super chat. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I swear you just picked up the big bag of tooth wheels. I did pick up a big bag of tooth wheels, but I don't think it gave us much. I think it only gave us like 14 tooth wheels because remember I bought all the bullets? I I think that was it. Because we only have 17 right now. It went up from the three tooth wheel. Uh, three tooth wheels. So yeah, it might have just been that. So, I guess what we have to do is we have to go and kill the the mermaid, the glass mermaids, and doll. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have to go fight them. I need to figure out how to. Okay, if I if I remember correctly, there's that one room with the vats, the three vats of water, remember? With the three glass mermaids. I can kite them around the vats and kill them one by one. That should give us a good amount of uh that should give us a good amount of tooth wheels. And then there's three more in the hallway, which is going to be a little bit difficult to kite because of the constantly changing camera angles. Um but if we kill six of those, plus the additional doll that spawned, we should have enough to afford them. Congrats on... one hundred nineteen k almost 200k. That's, that's like... We're like 90,000 short. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I, um... I've kind of... I... The boys and I were sitting down in Discord and we were talking, and at the rate that we're going, it's like, oh, it's going to take me 50 years to get to 1 million subs. And I'm thinking to myself, like, is that really even a goal that I should be aiming for? 1 million subs. If I spend, like, 25 years, I'll get to 500,000 subs. <laughs> 25th year anniversary. Could you guys imagine? 25. Could I do this for 25 years? I don't know. How old would I be? 30 season 26, right? Effectively, like, 50 years. I don't know if I could dance on, like, on a stage if I'm, like, 50. <laughs> I don't know. I might, like, just kind of stand there and just kind of wiggle a little bit. I don't know if I can, like, actually dance on, on stage if I'm 50. Any special plans for when I reach 200k? I don't know if I ever will. So, I don't, I don't, I have no, no clue, to be honest. <laughs> would Grandpa Shinri be still, would still be wholesome? I mean, if anything, I'd become more tired. So, it would be less likely for me to be mad, because being mad is effort. 
And at that age, I, I, I won't have the energy for effort. <laughs> Silver Fox is definitely a goal, though. I wish. I wish. Still Freudian doing idle dances is not possible. Hmm. I would like to be able to, like, move out and have my own place. Like, I still want to set up my own, like, dance studio. Not like a studio, but, like, a room where I can. You know? Casey, thank you for the one year. Please picture a bunch of little grandma and grandpa koi's cheering with light sticks, though. It's hilarious. Aww, that's really cute. <laughs> I can see it, I can see it. I will say, though, um, Koi's being water creatures do not have to abide by... What was it again? The square cube law? Was that it? Uh... I forget I forget what the exact term is, but there is like a biological limit to how big a creature can get on land. However, underwater, there is like that restriction isn't there, which is why whales are able to get so huge. The square cube lot about how mass exponentially increases with size. I think that's the one. I think that's the one, yeah. So, like, there's a reason why whales are able to get so huge without having to worry about, um, like, biological factors, like being able to, say, for example, um, what was it? Like, trans transfer oxygen through their muscles. Like, the bigger you get, the more powerful your heart has to be in order to pump blood with oxygen through all of your muscles and organs, right? But if you're underwater, you don't really have to deal with that. Um, because like the bio, uh, I, I forget what the exact science is. I'm blanking out on that right now. Um, but yeah, fish can get very, very huge underwater. Being that heavy would crush bones. Exactly, exactly. The weight, the just the physical requirement. Um, I believe like, Nowadays, it is like elephants, I think, are really like close to the maximum size limit of land creatures. And the reason why you can't get any bigger than that is just because the body, like a physical body, would not be able to handle it. Um, whereas like back in the past, during like the dinosaur ages, there was a lot more oxygen in the atmosphere. So it was easier for creatures to get larger. Um, but nowadays, with the current atmosphere, not so much. But yeah, underwater, I believe... Uh, I, I'm, I'm blanking on the exact science behind it, I'm sorry. But there, there's like a specific reason why sea creatures are able to get so huge. You know, things like squid, things like whales. There's a reason um, they can do so underwater, but they can't do it on land. So koi fish, being water creatures... Uh, depending on the size of the pond, can grow absolutely enormous. Yeah. Love how many facts you dropped on the stream. <laughs> Mass increases cubically while bones and muscles increase the power of two, so there's a hard limit. Exactly. On land, there's a, there's a maximum cap. You can't get any bigger than a certain size because at once it gets to the certain point, you just won't be able to, say, for example, stand up. Your bones just aren't strong enough. They're, you can't um, carry the, sh the sheer weight of your body, own body mass, you know? Rowan, thank you so much for the super. Hello, Shinri. I wanted to go to Hall Expo talk with you at the Oshi Talk, but I failed to get a ticket. Hope to see you next year. Love you always. I'm sorry. It's very difficult to get into those. I know the lottery system is kind of... Oh, it's a lottery, so it really is really uh, luck-based. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're able to still... Um, at least enjoy some of the pictures that people can share on social media with it. I kind of wish that there was like a way to just have, you know, like a separate lottery for Tempest fans. I, I would have appreciated if they did that. Oh, and thank you so much for the super chat. Fingers crossed for next year. Hopefully we'll have better luck then. Please debut a Kaiju Puniko in your 3D next year because so hard. 
<laughs> okay, speaking of kaiju creatures, okay? There's one trope that I really love, all right? And my personal trope that I really love is when animals become so huge, they stop being animals and they start becoming landscapes. I love that trope. It is like the giant, like the world turtle, you know, like the idea of the world being like growing on the back of a giant turtle, you know, exactly like Avatar The Last Ender Bender, exactly like that kind of stuff. Like I love that trope, imagining a creature so huge that you can build cities, you can build like forests, there's an ecosystem on their backs. I love that trope. Like the world snake, yeah. Like, oh, it's just so cool. Like, that something about it, the fact that you're living on the back of a creature that large, the sense of scale that you get is, I don't know, it, it's like awe-inspiring, you know? It's really cool. I'm about to say Clifford, but Clifford is not a natural creature. No, it's gonna be much, much bigger than Clifford, their big red dog. It's gonna be huge, you know? The world snake is kind of because an omnipotent entity. Kind of, yeah, almost like that though. But like, the, you you know the general idea, right? That kind of stuff. When a spider becomes big enough, it isn't entirely made of spider anymore. Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of spooky, you know, right? Imagine a planet-sized foodie go. <laughs> Like a like a giant planet of water and like the continents are like huge turtles Huge fish, you know, or like maybe it's maybe it's like a city on the back of an enormous whale and Then every now and then when the whale has to breathe like it's so huge It only needs to breathe maybe once every like two months three months, right? every month or so it like surfaces and it becomes like a regular like consistent cycle you know like oh the the world whale needs to breathe so you know the coming of the month means we're going to surface and we have an opportunity to i don't know like harvest something from the surface world before the whale submerges once more like that kind of stuff man i don't know like the idea of it is really cool isn't there a deer, a turtle, snake, and a deer? Possibly. I know there's a lot of stories, a lot of mythologies that feature um, animals that become landscapes due to their size. Wonder if there are any authors out there who have written stories featuring this concept? I'm sure there, there's gotta be. There has to be, you know? All hail the world whale. <laughs> Giant planet of water, but would make the most of a living organism landscape. Whale having more organic beings alive on top of it. Yeah, exactly. There was a Doctor Who episode called The Beast Below, where the entire civilization thinks it's living on a spaceship, but it's been living on a giant space turtle the whole time. Oh, I think I remember that one. And like, the moral conflict, I think, was like, they had built this machinery to to zap the creature and by zapping the creature it would move forward and like if they oh, I, what was the dilemma like do we continue enslaving this giant space creature to help civilization that's growing on top of it continue to exist and thrive or do we shut the machine off cause the entire society that was built on its back basically to wither and fall apart but also free the whale at the same time like which do you choose you know that that was the moral like dilemma that you had then yeah i remember that one they were worried that if they stopped zapping the creature it would destroy the cities on its back exactly yeah i i, I just i don't know there's something about it that i really love the concept is really cool they kept feeding people to it, but it never ate any of the children. They tried to feed it because it didn't want to. Yeah. DND lore, the world, the moons are ancient bodies of long dead dragons. Oh, 
That's kind of cool. Wasn't there... I think, like, um... Was it the Owl House? I think? I think, like, the Owl... Like, in the, in the TV show, The Owl House, um, there was, like, a whole thing about, like, where the islands that they were living on were built off the skeleton of, like, a giant creature that used to live long, long ago. The tit Yeah, it was built on the Titan. Like, that kind of stuff is cool, too. Like, it doesn't have to be a living creature. It's just, you know, the even the remnants, the, the skulls or, like, the bones of a creature that used to be so large that they now built a civilization around it. Like, I love that. That's, that kind of stuff is so cool to me. Okay. Since we have defeated Edith, we don't need the swimsuit anymore. Because I, the next part of the game, I believe, we have to go through the gardens. So I'm just going to go stick to the nurse outfit again. Just to make sure that we have the full heels. Oh, speaking of heels. Yeah. Uh, I don't like your voice. Well, I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's go. Med kits are back. Okay, I'm going to buy them all. <laughs> okay, and now we save. Thank you. Yeah. And then reminded me that Xenocobelli Chronicles has the giant remains lore. <gasps> I think I've seen I've actually never played, but I think I've seen a few people play play it. But yeah, like I remember like seeing those, those huge bones and stuff. We Alright, chat. We had gone ahead and saved. We beat Edith the boss. I think this is a good place to go ahead and take a break so i'm gonna go grab some food and we'll call it here and then when we pick it up tomorrow or not tomorrow um we'll pick it up next week but i think what i'll do is i'll put a lot like we'll put multiple alessa streams because there's a whole bunch more so hopefully we'll be able to finish it next week um there's a few more bosses i think how many more bosses are there again yeah. three bosses so we should be able to finish it next week if we make some good progress I'll just, I'll just remember to save frequently so that we don't lose our progress. <laughs> yeah, three more exactly. So hopefully we'll we'll get through those. So, ooh, ooh. um, I guess I should just let everyone know like the reason why I kind of calling it here, even though like I do want to keep going. Um. I know that if my VODs get way too long, they end up becoming a little bit intimidating to watch. So I want to keep my, my streams like below six hours. Like I don't want to go too much more past five hours. And I want to see like if the VODs that we have are a bit more uh, accessible, a bit more manageable, if they're not super, super long. But yeah. Mm hmm. All right, chat. At the risk of me sitting here and then ending up just talking and yammering away for like another another like hour or so, let's go ahead and go to the outro. Yeah. That's the guy who wants to stream long. I do. I really do. Okay, but like this is what I'm gonna do. I I want to stream more in general, right? But. Here's the here's gonna be the compromise, okay? I will stream more frequently, but each individual stream will be shorter, right? So it won't be like six, seven, eight hour long streams. I wanna keep them a little bit shorter, so closer to four hours, closer to five hours. Uh, maybe maybe three to four, not four to five. <laughs> but that way, each VOD will be a little bit more digestible. It won't be too overwhelming. And no one's going to be like, oh, I don't want to have to sit down and watch a 10 hour Shinri VOD, you know, like. Um, so, more frequent streams, but less in, shorter, but more frequent. There we go. <laughs> That's what I want to get to. Shorter, but more frequent. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you all for stopping by. Oh, this is a lot of fun. I want to keep going. But for now, let me send you off on a raid. Let's see who is currently uh, streaming. Send you off on a raid over there. Say hello to... 
Ah, uh, ooh. It looks like the Armus boys are doing some Dungeons and Dragons. A one shot, and they've been going for a little while. So let's send you over there. Please have a wonderful time over at Riz's channel while they do some Dungeons and Dragons. Say hello to them for me. Koya Sumi, everyone. See you tomorrow. Ha, 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 ha.